What's up, everybody? It's Make It Make Sense. And yo, when I introduced a lot of y'all to my girl, Rashonda, I had no idea this was about to pop off. So like the video as the intro plays, because this is some Shirley Ernesto stuff that I was not expecting. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I want to make it make sense. Make it make sense. That's all. One and one got to equal two. Make it make sense, boo. Big moves. Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dream. Let me work out all the things. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things that you say. Make it make sense. Tell me about the things in your dream. Hey, let me work out all the things in between. Make it make sense. She's trying to run. She can't run. Now, now, now who can't run? Now who can't run? Who can't run? Yeah, yeah. Who can't run? I love her. I love her. Okay, so, okay, so you got a lot of y'all like, well, who is this Rashonda? A lot of you may know her because she's a lot of people's faves. Her story is absolutely amazing. She's so funny and. And you feel like you know her. She's like your friend in your head. I, I might get to know her this weekend. We'll talk about that later. Uh, but okay. If you don't know who I'm talking about, this is Rashonda. I've been using her clip in my lives whenever I want to let people know I'm not to be effed with. Okay? We're going to follow this road all the way down. You're going to take a sharp left. Okay? Up here, past this tree here. Okay? Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. Right there in that place. That's where you... <laughs> the fur coat. Y'all, it was too hot for me to pull out my fur. But y'all know I like a good fur coat. This is some mess. So before we get into the evictions, the scamming, the, dr the drastic weight loss... The great story, the money. Let me let you guys know who LaShonda is for real, for real, because she has a insanely touching story. So I don't want to make that too big. Um, this was a piece that her local news, she's I think she's in like um Louisville. This is what the local news had to say about her. She's a veteran a mother of four, formerly homeless, selling plasma to get by. Now she's rolling in the dough, but let's get into it. This is what they had to say about her. There, and fashion wasn't always the goal. Haley Minogue sat down with the creator of the brand, who's a veteran, a mom, and once was homeless, but today she's ready for life's next curveball. Much like picking the perfect outfit, sometimes in life, you have to know when to hit the reset button. I, I knew that it had to be better. Something greater was coming. I didn't know what, I didn't know when. Rashonda Johnson, Kent State graduate, former U.S. Army member, mother of four. Her life's twists and turns brought her to Louisville in 2011. She was homeless and she had no money. I didn't see all this fair coming. I don't even know where the name came from. I just, I, I said I downloaded it from heaven. She created a face. Literally. This is the stuff that movies are made out of. She's living the dream and she did it all on her own. So if you want to support her right off the bat, they shop AF on all social media platforms. And as crazy as it sounds, her, it's all is fair and love and fashion, but we're going to get into it. <laughs> Facebook page first with styling suggestions for women of all shapes and sizes, all is fair, completely took off. But Johnson wasn't gaining financially from the group of thousands. She was still selling plasma to try and make ends meet until a random follower reached out. Well, that was a changing moment for me. That Mother of four selling her blood to make sure that her kids were eating. Are y'all catching this? Mother of four. 
she said, you're going to do great. She owned a boutique and she was humble enough to say, you're going to do better than me. Let me help you. Always praying for guidance, looking for a way to help others. She never would have thought all is fair would give her the tools. I want people to all over to see themselves on the runway, right? Because we come in all shapes, sizes, colors and races and it needs to be seen on the runway. Sunday afternoon, she's helping military families with a fashion show benefiting USA Cares. Johnson knows the lady's always doing something for other people. Always doing something for other people. She owns her own boutique. She definitely is the American dream realized. And now that she's an influencer, I'm sure the money is rolling in. She does Instagram and TikTok, but I'm sure the money's rolling in from her influencing. The knows some in need ask, but others have a harder time. Sometimes we create our own storms, but sometimes other people cause those storms. Um, if you only knew three years ago <laughs> when you made this, that the other people was your wife. We'll just leave it at that. Pastor LaShonda. Pastor LaShonda. I'm, you know, she gives me Nesto, but we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Um, and you have to reach out to those um, that love and care about you. <laughs> Laughing through the tough times, smiling towards the future. She knows she can't handle all life's curveballs, but she has the first fashion guru ever to help out. You know, if you read in Genesis before Adam and Eve was cast out, it said God closed them. Like he was the first fashion designer. So, <laughs> in Louisville, I'm Haley Minogue. Funny lady, funny lady. Okay. So that gives you guys some background. She's one of my favorite. Um, I found her on Instagram, but a lot of people know her through TikTok because she has like millions of followers on TikTok. And it's a lot of what I showed you guys very early on, how you don't have her half up. It's a lot of that kind of stuff. Not last night, but the night before that, it popped off. Um, It popped off big time. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Um, shout out to this YouTuber. She's allowing me to use it. Her name is Sky Santana. She got like all of the clips compiled. So shout out to her. So we can get right into this. <clears throat> we don't get, no, it's not a joke. So I, I'm not doing it. Um, yeah, there's no more room. So, are y'all ready though? No, we're not going to canceling, honey. No. Right. We we we're past that. We starting at the top. Okay, we're starting at the top. I need y'all to take notes and write write it down. Number one. Number one. August thirtieth. I need you to write that down. Okay. August 30th, I'm backing out of the driveway, me and Jayla. Jayla says, Mama, what's that on the front door? I said, I don't know. We get out, Not on go get it out the door. It's a fucking eviction notice. Say what now? On my front door. August 30th. You got some hot tea. Do you hear what I said? August 30th. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not lying. I call LaShondra and I say, what the fuck is this on the door? She said, I don't know. It must be a mistake. No, we didn't buy this house. This house is rented. Okay. The house is rented by a black couple and they follow us on social media. Uh, really quick. Thank you so much, Renee Nunez, for the super chat. I really do appreciate you supporting the channel. Guys, we got over 400 in the chat. Definitely hit the like button. Ray Nunez, it is very much obliged that you super chatted me. <laughs> Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much obliged. It's very much obliged. <laughs> uh, yeah, please hit the like as you enter. Yeah, so how fucking embarrassing. How embarrassing, okay? She says, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Same, listen, same day, we're leaving. I got two. I got two gigs. I got two gigs in Atlanta that I got to go to working. Labor Day weekend. Right. My stomach is killing me. Because I can't leave for Atlanta with this fucking eviction notice on the door. We get to Atlanta. I do both of my gigs. OK, I come back from Atlanta. 
September 5th, I say, have you talked to the people? What is this eviction notice about? She says, I haven't heard from them. Okay, September 5th. September 6th, I get up and get dressed and go to the rental office. I go to Remax office, okay? I had to sit across from this man while he prints off all this stuff and tells me what's been going on for the what kind of gigs does she do? She is a influencer, right? So people really want to be her friend and they pay her to come out and speak or, you know, host parties and stuff like that. So she's raking in dough. So the fact that she was evicted was insane to me because she's she's bringing in the money. Uh, thank you so much, Chris Mitchell, for the super chat. It is very much obliged. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much obliged. Very much obliged. <laughs> For the past 11 months. Okay? Because we ain't been in the house a year. Okay? So, <sighs> I sent LaShondra the funds on August 15th. I pay my boutique rent on the 1st. I pay my house rent on the 15th plus late fees. Okay? I sent LaShondra my money August 15th, okay? Not only did she not go online and make the payment, she waited until August 21st to take them a check. August 21st, August 24th, the check bounced. This is the third NSF charge, okay? Third NSF. So the people file, file eviction, right? Because... They sick of they sick of asking for their money. So this is me, September sixth, sitting across from this man in the rental office, telling me this. Okay, I'm in tears. Why? Because y'all already know my story. I've already been homeless. How am I homeless with money in the bank? So I ask the man. I say, "What do you need me to do right now, sir?" He said, "I need you to pay September rent." I go to the bank. I get $2,700 out the bank. Okay, $2,700 that I just earned in Atlanta. Okay, I take it to them. I take it to the rental office. He says, I'm not sure if they're going to let you stay. Okay, listen, this is September 6th. So y'all, she has the okay? money. That, I had to pay $2,000 rent and two court costs. Because this was not the first time that they had filed eviction on us. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, y'all. Because, you know, when she's talking about it initially, I'm like, wow, you know, that has to, like, really sting. You have the money. You're paying everything. But if they filed evictions on you before, then that gives us a little bit more insight into this, is, this should not come as such a surprise. That's why I was like, I see a, a lot of similarities to a certain couple. <clears throat> it should not have come as a surprise. This was not the first time. This is the first time I caught it. But this wasn't the first time. April or May, there was another, another NSF, right? So I say to him, I say, sir, could you please include me? Uh-huh. Please include me since I've been left out. Because as you all know, LaShondra's a property manager, right? So the last three houses we've been in, she has found those houses. I let her pay. I property manager, scamming ass, uh, pastor. It's a lot, y'all. It's a whole, I told you guys, this. y'all can put in the chat, replay gang, are you seeing semblances of Nesto and Shirley? Uh, thank you so much, Waddles. Waddles says, my cousin had the nerve to look at me crazy when I told her to hire a private investigator to look into her fiancés. Stories like this is the reason why. Now, Waddles, that's a good point. Before we end this live, I actually know somebody who you can reach out to and they will do the background check and they'll do like a YouTube video around it. Um, her name is Simone. She has this channel called Girl Is That Legal? Um, she, I think she was on Ready to Love. I'll definitely let you guys know how you can do that. And I'm going to show you guys a clip of this woman who found out that her 
Stalker actually had some <clears throat> unaliving charges. Crazy insane. Thank you so much for the super chat. It is very much obliged. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. <laughs> I sent her my half. She's supposed to pay the bills. Okay. Listen to me. The man texted me at 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, and said, unfortunately, the $2,700 that you just gave us, the owners still want to move forward with eviction. Unless you all are out the house by September 30th, <laughs> by September 30th, it's going on your credit report. Now I'm okay? messing up the credit. Speaking of credit report, on the way to Atlanta, as you all seen in my videos, on the way to Atlanta, she tells me, oh, by the way, I have defaulted on the loan that you co-signed on in 2021. Okay. I said, excuse me, you mean the loan that you gaslit me into signing for? Because I don't co-sign for bitches. I don't co-sign for nobody. My children either. I said, so when the last time my you made a payment too. on the loan, LaShondra? She said May, June. It's fucking September. Okay? Now okay. you're fucking with my credit. You're follow this road all the way down. You're going to take a sharp left. Okay? Up here, past this tree here. Okay? Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. Don't ask me to co-sign shit. <laughs> Cause I'm not doing it. My grandma said, I'll give you the cash money. Don't loan nobody no money that you can't afford to get back. And I'll give you the cash. You're not gonna use my credit. And that's why she had A1 credit to the day she died. And my grandmother died well into her 90s. Never owned a car, but helped us all get our own cars. But let's get oh, we got a couple more super chats. Uh God's favorite me 76 said, just because you're my virtual friend in my head, I absolutely enjoy all your videos. I'm a Bush baby. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're my friend in my head too. Y'all don't know how, how many dark days I have that I come on here and clown. I really wanted this to be a spike lemonade, but I didn't have any liquor here. So <laughs> it's just the uh, limeade, but I needed a drink for this video. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Okay, now you're fucking with my credit. Y'all wanted to know so bad, so that's why we all here, right? I wanted okay. to know. So, here we go. Me sitting outside my boutique crying at 9.30 at night because this man has told us that we have to move, okay? And then he says, oh, by the way, the sewer bill, sewer and water bill is more than 90 days past due. That balance will have to be paid also. This is in the group chat that I've never been in before. So hmm. I say, OMG, wow. do you know what LaShondra put in that group chat, y'all? She simply said, what's past due? Question mark. You heard what the fuck he said. <laughs> Why would you put that in the doggone group? You heard what he said. He said, we got to move out and the water and sewer bill is more than 90 days past due. That's some hot tea. So I shut down, right? I'm not talking. I ain't talked to her for two days. I still ain't talked to her. So Friday, because y'all need to write these dates down. Friday, September 8th, I'm packing to leave for New York Fashion Week. Because I get paid to do what the fuck I do. Okay? So I'm going. So I'm what the fuck I do. Okay? So I'm going. So I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. And she is talking about, I don't want to go another day with you mad at me and we not talking. I said, LaShondra, my mama gambled away my money and I ended up homeless. Okay? Living in Louisville, Kentucky. And I didn't speak to my mama for over a year. You want me to speak to you after 48 hours, less than 48 hours of finding out that we didn't evict it? Are you dumb? I'm not talking to you. 
So she then, <laughs> when I said, LaShondra, I don't want to talk to you because I'm going to say something that I may regret. Don't you know that LaShondra then left her ass over into my face, nose to nose, talking about you going to talk to me in my face? I am sick, you gonna sick, get buck sick at me. of your shit. And when I'm not sick, I'm tired. I am sick and tired. <laughs> because I'm mad at you. Do you want to die? Okay? Do you want to die? She's like, I'm going to leave before you... I'm going to... I'm going to leave because you're talking out of anger. I said, no, I'm not talking out of anger. I will dead. I will put my hands on you. Okay. So. Y'all, this is some crazy. It's that same stuff that Ernesto be doing to Shirley. It's the same stuff as that jailhouse talk. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Talk to me. Oh, I know we're getting evicted, but you know, I know you love me, right? You love me. We, we together. We won. Why are you mad? We're going to get through this. No. Her money is going to get y'all out of this. That's what you was expecting. It's that. This ain't stealing. It's that kind of talk. This ain't stealing. We got over 650 people in here. Definitely hit that like button. I haven't been going live because y'all know they've been messing with me. Uh, so y'all wanted this one live. We are here live. And this is juicy. This is This is some juicy stuff. That was September 8th. That's the last time that I've seen LaShondra face to face because not only have you triggered me by now making me homeless again, now you're jumping in my face like my ex-husband. Now I'm going to have to put you in the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? So here we are. I leave. I go to New York. I enjoy New York. I'm on my way back. I'm on my way back from the airport. And her mom calls, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. But the one thing that her mom said to me that shut my whole spirit down, she said to me, Rashonda, everybody lies. She says, everybody lies. So you're okay with the behavior? So you, she got it from her mama, y'all. <clears throat> See, the first time I left LaShondra was December of 2021. I went and stayed in a hotel for a few days because she lied about the dining room table. She told me that her mama gifted us the dining room table in January of 2021. December 2021, I get a knock at my door from Renaissance Center to repo a fucking table. Some hot I'm tea. all over the internet. I'm all over the internet. I could buy 14 fucking tables. Not 14. <laughs> but you rented a table and lied about a damn table. Why? Who does that? Insanity. Okay? Insanity. I Wasn't that giving y'all I could take care of every motherfucker in here? I could. Wasn't that giving y'all that? <laughs> Shout out to Candy. I said, when I came back, LaShondra, if you lie to me again, I'm leaving. Okay? That was 2021. Now, here we are back in 2023. I'm sitting at the airport. The, the, uh, the rental property, property that she applied for, because we got to move, denied us. Why? Because your fucked up credit and now you brought my credit down because you just told me that you defaulted on the loan that I co-signed on. So, of course, it's not going to get approved. OK. <laughs> Listen, I don't know where it is. So here we go. So then I call my best friend. Right. I said, best friend, this is what is going on. OK. She says to me, well, friend, let me tell you. Do you know that LaShondra borrowed a thousand dollars from me and my wife? Mm. What? I said, when? When did she borrow a thousand dollars from my, my best friend? She said, about a month before y'all got married. She said that y'all needed money for 
finish paying for your dress and some other stuff. I said, my daddy bought my dress. I was going to say yes to the dress. Okay. Y'all, now she was on say yes to the dress. Like this lady's come up has not just been, every time she's somewhere, she lights up a screen. So yes, she was on say yes to the dress. Let me show you guys. The drama, just, you know, the, the wave. And I love it. I love it. I honestly think this might be it. Like I really. She was on say yes to the dress and she made a splash there too. Hey, you think they're going to let me walk out of Clownfield on them? Huh? They said they thought I knew. They didn't know that I didn't know that she borrowed money from my friends. You did. You just thought it was a gift. Yeah, she told me that they gifted us $1,000. She did not say that she borrowed $1,000 from my friends. It took her a year and a half to pay them back. And they see us out here living our lives and feeling some type of way because my wife owes them money and I don't know it. Mm. Okay. So now, now I'm living. Mm. Now I'm living. What's up, Storm? I say, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Okay. The next day I get up, I go to the boutique. I'm talking to my friend Ashley at the boutique. I'm telling her, Bitch, I'm about to be homeless again. Mm -hmm. And all the other shit that I found out. And you know what she says to me? She says, well, friend. I said, well, friend, what? LaShondra owes me money from June. <laughs> you got the pastor going around literally convincing the people to loan her money think about this think about all the friends who are looking at Rashonda because if you are a Rashonda fan like me you know that she is rolling in the dough she had a whole customized Beyonce renaissance thing she flew into Houston Texas for it Rashonda is banking so can you imagine your best friend's pastor wife coming to you saying we need a little bit of money and you okay under the table you probably don't even want to embarrass your friend so you're not really saying anything to her okay here's the money i'm sure y'all are good for it meanwhile the pastor wife is probably i think the pastor's wife then spent the money at home depot she gives me that she shops at home depot a lot she gives me that she's that kind of lady a home depot lady that's where the money went and uh, shout out to Storm. What's up? This is a crazy story. And somebody underneath said, ma'am, stop talking. You know, if I want to cut naked cartwheels, I can on this here channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know you're just joking, though. Uh, I know you're just joking. I say what? She said she owes me money from June. I said, for what? She says, when her pastor, when her bishop came down, they stayed at the Airbnb upstairs above the boutique. And I haven't been paid. Okay? <laughs> so then, I get on the phone, and I call LaShondra's bishop, and I say, hey, my friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid from the Airbnb state when y'all came down. She hung, she said, let me send you the screenshot. She hung the phone up. <laughs> she hung the phone up and sent me the screenshot. They sent LaShondra that money June 26th. Okay. June 26th. So if you sent the money June 26th, then why hasn't my friend Ashley been paid for the Airbnb state? Mm. Where's the fucking money? Okay. I love how there is sound effects in the back. Are y'all hearing that? I'm absolutely loving whoever is in the back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Carol Chamberlain, thank you so much for the super chat. How are you a property manager and you don't know this? I think she just worked. I think that a lot of times when you are, you know, a con artist, you just kind of like think that you're going to get away with it. Or she knows that her wife has all this money. Her wife will fix it later. The question is, where is the money going? Now, I would not be surprised if 
if it ain't Home Depot, it's some more coochie. Just saying. If it ain't Home Depot, it might be going to another woman. That's just, who knows what con artist does. He's a con artist. Who knows, but thank you so much for the super chat. It is very much obliged. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, we got like almost 800 people. We only got 200 likes. Y'all definitely hit that like button. Uh, it's a free way to support the channel. <laughs> Every time I talk to somebody, she owes them money. Okay. My brother has been cash out in LaShondra his rent for the past 12 months because he lives on that property. I said, what, Morris? He said, yeah, for the past year. So y'all tell me, do y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere and withdraw that money, get a money order, and run it through the system? Because she can't run it through as herself because she works there. But it's the fact that you're accepting federal money through your personal cash app. LaShondra hates Jayla. She talked, I found out she talked so bad about my child. Okay, so guys, I'm thinking that she's exposing all this so that the woman can go down so that she can say she got scammed, move on with her life, and walk away from it. If this woman goes down, you know, she can probably get an annulment for the marriage. She can probably do some work to rebuild her credit and everything else. So I'm, I think that's why she's putting it out there. Child, that it brought tears to my eyes. Telling her that she needs to grow up. She don't need to be asking me for money. My child, my child. Meanwhile, your mom co-signed for your car and you're 46, 47. So how can you, yes, talk dirt bad about Jayla. Call her nasty, call her all kind of stuff. My baby. And, and the screenshot said, I'm going to send you the invoice from Deliverance by Grace because I can't send it from hello at rllockhart.com without notifying Rashonda. It says it. Why wouldn't you want me notified about my own motherfucking mm. phone? Mm. Why wouldn't you want me notified that somebody's trying to pay me? That's some hot tea. You laid right next to me and didn't say, hey, babe, somebody reached out trying to pay you for some work that you did. I'm in a bad Tubi movie, y'all. So y'all can think whatever y'all want to about, about me. I will be a villain. But when I say that I'm done, then I'm done. Speak your truth. Thank you, friend. I'm done. And I'm glad that I got it out. I'm glad that I got it out. Because where's the money? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? So when I say that I'm done, I don't feel no type of way about it. I don't know where the money, I don't know where it went. He's a kind artist. I don't know where it went, but what I do know is, uh, what I do know is that nobody knew who she was before me. You didn't have a passport before me. You ain't been flown out the country before. That is a Nene Leakes read. Nobody knew who Andy Cohen was before there was a Nene Leaks. <laughs> for me, I pay for that. I, I pay for that. Nobody knew who you was. You built a whole platform off of my back. Okay. So the Bishop calls me back and she says, Hey, Rashonda, did you get the screenshot of the payment that I sent? I said, yes. She said, I wanted to talk to you about something. When you all were in Atlanta back in July after Essence for the um, convocation, another bishop came up to me from LA and said, hey, bishop, I see that LaShondra is now at your church. Just know that she stole money from our church in LA. This ain't Did she tell you that, LaShondra? 
<laughs> I said no. She did not tell me that. How are you not like ugh. the bishop in LA told the bishop in Baltimore that LaShondra took money from her church and to not have her give access to her money. Put on some hot tea. Listen to me. The information that I have found out, honey, would you stay married to somebody you don't know? Would you? So I go to Fresh Fire where we used to go to church. I go to Fresh Fire because we had our mental health awareness day. I'm supporting my friend. I go to the church. I talk to pastor after church to let him know what's going on. And he says to me, Ray, there has been three occasions where I had to talk to LaShondra about missing money. See, she didn't bet on me going back to Fresh Fire because she left Fresh Fire. Now, why nobody is telling this woman anything about her wife? That would also be a problem for me. You, you A, she probably should have ran a background check. Uh, so definitely, if you think that you might need to look into somebody that you dating or seeing, uh, go to Girl Is That Legal, um, and there's a link there where you can put in your request, and they will do a full background check for you over there. Um, yeah, I, mm, I would, I would need new friends. I need everybody to tell me everything that you know about everything that involves me. Period. Hard stop. Tell me everything up front. So, so, yeah. So I'm not telling y'all something that I've heard. I mean, I'm not. Anyway, we go to church afterwards. Hold on really quick. I got some super chats. Tam, thank you so much for your super sticker. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, we got a couple more. L'Oreal uh, says, showing support to one of my faves. Thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, Renee Nunez, thank you again. Renee is coming through uh, with the support today. Thank you so much for your super sticker. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, and Amber, thank you so much for your super sticker. It said it's giving addict. This is how addicts behave. Now, a lot of people have made that suggestion. A lot of people have said gambling, potentially um, addiction, potentially some other coochie. Um, I'm thinking Home Depot, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, Amber. I'm sure we'll find out because Lashonda is not done talking. <laughs> Thank you for your super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. We go to Taco Place after church, and Pastor says something to the effect of, you know. She needs to stop this before she goes back to jail. Now I'm three margaritas in. So I had to take my shades off. I said, excuse me, back. Back to jail. When was Charlotte been in jail? For fraud? <laughs> take a sip. When was somebody going to tell me? <laughs> I believe with my whole heart that she sought me out, that she Googled me, that she found out who I was and what I was doing. And she inserted herself into my life. This was a whole scam. He's a the whole artist. marriage, everything was a scam. I don't believe, I don't believe nothing she's ever said to me. I don't believe none of it. I want my fucking money <laughs> and I can't get my time back.
and I don't wish nothing but the worst for her. She needs to go to jail. No, I don't she needs to ask me, and she needs to go to jail. Now, we we have never had shared bank accounts. I never gave her access to my stuff because I got people that trust me with their stuff, and she can't have access. Uh, as Lover said, what's the Home Depot reference mean? It means she looks like, you know, she could build a house, like rob the builder. She looks like she's, you know, could put a few things. She could, she could build you a couch or a table. She didn't have to go to rent a center. She could have built the table. That's what it's giving. <laughs> uh, which one is the reverend? The scam artist. The scam artist. Mm, not right. It just simply not. I wish you the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, somebody said, ma'am, she actually is all is she always at Home Depot? Oh, somebody said the uh the dollar store. Okay. Let, okay, so y'all, y'all know I'm a little messy. I went through Lashonda's Instagram. Now, don't this give you scam? Lashonda, check out, go get this thing um appraised. Here you are again at my job. That's your price. You got me a prize? Yeah, it's Mother's Day. This woman said, I got you a prize, not a gift. <laughs> she said, I got you a prize, not a gift. How long have they been married? I think three years. I think uh, three years. But she said, I got you a prize, not a gift. I'm telling you, Ernesto vibes. You want it today or Sunday? I want it right now. <sighs> See to this girl? Babe. This right here used to be my mama's. And it used to be my granny's. So my granddaddy did an upgrade. My daddy did an upgrade. And then I made the, an upgrade. I put the diamonds around the side. Happy Mother's Day. Well, Chandra, what if I can't fit it? You can fit it. You'll be all right. Let me see. See, I know your ring size. Go get it appraised. Well, Chandra, how am I supposed to top this? You always do this. Where's she? Where'd she get the money from? Where'd she get the money from? If it's real, where'd she get the money from? Just saying. To that stuff. For six years, she was saying shit like, oh, we need to get a joint account together. We need to get a joint. No. You tell me what you need and I give you money. But because I have already been homeless from trusting somebody with my funds, you're not getting, you're not, I, yeah. Six years. And here's the thing. You didn't even play it right. You didn't even play it right. Because I ain't even done. I'm not even going where I'm supposed to go yet. Do you understand what I'm saying? And my friend said to me, it's like, Rashonda, well, this time, at least you're not broke. This time you're homeless. At least you're not broke. Your kids are grown. You don't have to have a place right now. And I said, you're right. You're right. But see, had I, what were we supposed to be doing a TV show back in March? Started in March. And you see the writer strike happened. And everything got put on pause. Because just imagine. Imagine this being on TV. <laughs> imagine. I didn't move out, honey. We were evicted. Yeah. We were evicted. So... Uh, Gabor says, tell you why you ain't look it up. You the one who said, I do. Rashonda is basically told us LaShonda knew she was a sucker waiting to get licked. Why didn't I read that before I read it out loud? <laughs> Y'all, I do think that she was probably digmatized, to be honest with you. I definitely think that she was digmatized. Here was this woman who was telling her all the right things, like, like Gabor said, licking her up and down, and, you know, was down with the shit. Uh, claimed to be a God-fearing woman, was a pastor. I, I could see how she could really get in there and pull a full Ernesto on Rashonda. The crazy thing is Rashonda is the one who let us know. Okay, we're gonna follow this road all the way down. You're gonna take a sharp left, okay? Up here, past this tree here, okay? Once you get up here, you're gonna take another sharp turn. And over here, 
This is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. So I'm surprised you let it get this forward. Thank you, Gabor, uh, for your super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Okay, let's get back to the foolishness. <clears throat> yes. Evicted. Evicted. Six figure business owner. Evicted. <laughs> she missed all okay. her. Okay. Evicted. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, she went ahead and found her an apartment, right? Her mom probably co signed for that too. But you have built a platform off my back and nobody knew you. You got half a million people following you and you going live every Tuesday and Thursday and people are cash after you, their money. You are a thief and a liar and a criminal and you need to be in jail. You need to be in jail. So, so no, I don't feel no type of way about it. I'm going to sleep good tonight that I said it. I know it's going to be all over the internet. She needs to go to jail. She needs to go to jail. I don't feel no way about it. All I'm doing is making money and giving her what she needs to pay the bills. She doesn't have okay. access to the so rest of my funds. That was the first lie, but she was not done yet. So this is the update. So I was just getting y'all ready and prepared for the update. This is where we're at right now. We got over 900 in the chat. Definitely hit that like button. I think we had like only 300 likes. We should be at at least about five, 600. Look, Rashonda does not play. She does not care. And she's spilling it all. And I'm here for every last drop. So what two utilities were cut off? When you got the eviction notice, what two utilities were cut off or not paid in the past 90 days? Water and sewer. Okay. All I okay. did was trust the person. Now, just a little known fact, y'all. Kim Zolciak in that mansion in Atlanta also has her water cut up, water cut off. And y'all, Atlantans, or whatever y'all are called, <laughs> y'all are paying for it. Kim Zolciak has what's called a hardship, which means that the cities are paying to have water run into her mansion. Let that sink in. She's living in a mansion and y'all paying for her water. The person to do what they were supposed to fucking do. So if you all don't understand it, that is totally fine. But for me, that's just one less thing that I don't have to deal with as running a business. I already have to tend to that. She wants to be in this male dominated role or these heteronormative roles and lead. I'm gonna let you lead. Here's the funds that you need to do what the hell you asked to do. Um, but I didn't. So I didn't know the young lady had a question or was asking, how did I not know? Everything else, as far as my friends go, number one, my best friend that she borrowed the thousand dollars from, LaShondra gave me a half truth. She said that they gifted us a thousand dollars for the wedding. When I found out on September 10th that that was not so, that she asked to borrow money from them and she took a year and a half to pay them back. This was from 2019 to 2020, my wedding. They didn't tell me because they thought I knew. And they felt some type of way seeing us live the way we lived on money. So my friend didn't tell me until now. Now, everybody else, I kind of question, like, why nobody said something. But my friend Ashley that owns the Airbnb, she said she wanted to handle it between her. Everybody else is over there like. So why am I it? It? And you could have did yeah, it. See, so I get I did it. She never apologized. They ain't even did nothing. Technically, Rashonda, this between you and Lashonda. It's between y'all. Or LaShondra, she didn't want to involve me, but that's my friend, not LaShondra's friend. Now, okay. is this the friend? Which which one of them that you had said they sent the invoice and LaShondra said, I can't send it from that account because then that's going to show her she's going to get a notification. Is right. that, that the Airbnb situation? No, that is my friend Hannah. Uh, she's a poet here in Louisville and she owns a nonprofit. So they wanted to pay me for the advertising that I did for them. But I had been in and out of town. So she reached out to LaShondra and she mm -hmm. sent me screenshots of that. And that's exactly what she said in the screenshot. I can't send it. I'm going to send it from Deliverance by Grace because if I send it from hello at rllockhart.com, it's going to notify Ray. That's okay. what it Let me ask you about this too because there's been a lot of confusion. People said, and I heard you say, LaShondra had told your baby, and I say your baby because that's your child, your 22-year-old daughter, Jayla, not to ask for money. You know, she didn't want her doing that or whatever. And they said that you said, I didn't hear this, but did you say at any point in time, LaShondra was calling your daughter or referring to your daughter negatively or calling her names? Yes, she was talking to people 
I don't know her friends or whoever about she's always run her mouth about Jayla. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I knew that I thought this is my thought because all my other children never had a problem with LaShondra. I really thought because me and Jayla are so close that she just didn't want me to be with anybody. Right. But I didn't know the little jabs she was taking at Jayla when she's walking, when I'm not there. or the thing. So again, I told you guys, there was a lot of similarities between Shirley and Nesto. Nesto did not like the daughter. And that's what scammers do. That's what they prey on people who they feel like they can manipulate. Then what do they do? They try to separate you from the people that love you the people who are going to tell you what it is. So if your daughter was telling you, I don't like her, sometimes you got to like really take that into account. And if your daughter is not like a liar, then I don't know why you would not have. I do know that, you know, step mama daddies can be difficult, I'm assuming, but come on now. The thing she okay. was saying to her, and I'm going to tell you why I didn't know. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you what came to light. OK, mm -hmm. on that on that drive to Atlanta, when she told me that she defaulted on the loan that I co-signed for. She said, I also want to talk to you about Jayla. And I said, what is it? She said, I went into Jayla's hair room to get something out the closet and I saw that she had my hair gel on her desk. I politely told her, if you need anything, Jayla, just ask. That's what she mm -hmm. said. And then I said, well, what's the problem? She said, well, Jayla responded and said, I don't like the way that you're talking to me. I said, well, LaShondra, this is us driving to Atlanta, y'all. So I said to LaShondra, let me see the text message. Let me see what you sent her. LaShondra directly said to me, well, I don't feel like I got to show you what hold I on, Hold on, hold on, pause. LaShondra approached your baby, your daughter in her room and said, hey, you got my hair gel. If you want to browse something, let me know. How did it switch over to text message? Right. The correct response was... Don't buck, because if that I knock, then we're going to have a problem. Not, I'm not going to show you because I don't feel like I have to. You better show her exactly what you said to this woman's child. This, Rashonda, now is on you. You should have had your intuition about what she was saying and doing to your child. No, she texted her this. She, she's okay. telling me what she said to Jayla. So okay. I said... Let me see the text message then. And she says, I don't feel like I need to show you. So I said, cool. This is me driving. I mean, right into Atlanta. I just dusted it off. I said, cool. I text And it was some Kenya Moore hair gel, y'all. It was the edge control. It's Jayla and said, send me the screenshot of exactly what she said to you. 5.30 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> she texts Jayla and says, where's my phone? Hold on. I'm uh, Camille Randall, let me explain something to you. I know you're probably mistaken me for one of them live creators that take bullshit. Wrong one. I will block you quick. You will have to come back from your fake page to listen to the rest of this. I'm not one of them, baby. I'm not one of them. Uh, uh. I see people requesting, so you, maybe y'all have questions. If you do, when she's done talking, then I'll, and she, if she's cool with y'all coming up asking her, then I will bring y'all up. The content creator talks with Tripp said. She's going to get like upset. I don't know why y'all upset, because this is what, I watch this at five in the morning. I'm, I'm not upset. Okay. <laughs> So the text message says, please. She went and got If you're reading it right now, we can't hear it because it said your end is paused. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. It's the text message is from 5:30 in the morning. It says, please stay out of our room and out of our things. Had I came into your room and touched your stuff, you would have told your mama that LaShondra's been in my room touching my stuff. So stay out of my room and stay out of my stuff. Oh that's not what you told me that you said to Jayla. Right. You, said, you politely asked her. Talked with Trisha. I uh, told her that if she need anything, just let you know. You're Ooh. you're lying. So this led me to ask Jayla other things, and that's how mm -hmm. I found out everything that I need to find out as far as her and Jayla is concerned. Right? I did it. Okay. I was taking her word for it, and it was untrue. Now let me ask you this: Did you find it at Over all? Over hair gel, honey. Over hair gel. She said it was expensive. Go ahead. Did you find it at all weird that you say, I want to see what control. conversation you've been having with my child, and she tell you, I don't feel the need to tell you that? Yes, yes. That's, okay. why, I, that's why I nodded my head and sent the text message to Jayla. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Let's see if we can get past that. Video or made a comment stating that he never said that. Was it a male pastor that did it? That, that had this conversation? No, no. Okay, okay. 
This was okay. a bishop in LA, the church she was at in LA. Okay. This okay. was a woman bishop. This was not, yeah. Okay, so the video that they're saying where a man has come up and said he had no conversation, that would be Nolan Void, because that's not who you're saying got to speaking on in the first place. Right. Okay. Um, LaShondra. Let me say this, y'all, before we like continue on. You are a lesbian pastor of a church that is geared towards LGBTQ. There are people who off rip are not going to like you. So you are a pastor for people who feel like, who believe in God, but feel like they cannot be themselves with their, you know, orthodox um, churches. Why would you then really F these people up, right? Because now it's becoming like more of a running joke. You should really have been on your P's and Q's. You were one of the more well-known lesbian pastors. Do better. It really sucks for people in that church to now have to deal with all of the stigma that's going to be associated with you and all the jokes. It really does suck, I'm sure. <clears throat> Do better. Okay, when the situation happened with the table, rent a center table or renting a table, and she told you, I got this table from my mama, and then the table had to be removed. Exactly what took place? How, what was the dead giveaway that this wasn't a table, this wasn't a gift? No, she told, when we first moved in the house in February, uh, January of 2021, um, mm -hmm. she told me that, um, I think we got the table in like March, because, you know, it was after the pandemic, so they were saying that furniture was delayed and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So, she said, my uh, thank you so much for the super chat, Waddles. Waddles says, did you mean strapmatize, strap, strapmatize, lickmatize, dickmatize, whatever. She was getting her rocks off and she was probably putting it down. And that's why she overlooked some of these things. But I would love to talk to Rashonda. Who knows? I might be meeting her very soon uh, and see if I can get her on this show so we can talk about it. Maybe just maybe very soon. We'll see. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, Nisha1833 says, giving out tough girl advice on that chalkboard and her cornbread ain't even done in the middle. Truer words were never spoken, Nisha. Truer words were never spoken. But thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. I love Boston CEO. Somebody was like, I'm tired. <laughs> I love Boston CEO. It's very much obliged. My mom gifted us this dining room table for a housewoman gift. That was in February, March. It was December when they showed up at the door asking for payment. Okay. Uh, hold on one second. I don't mean to cut you off. Becca, damn Becca. Uh, I see you in there talking about Rishonda. Get off of this lady live. She too messy. And baby, I informed her that when she came on, but you can go pick up your carrots and your raisins out of somebody else's salad because this is a collard green conversation. And what we're not going to do is disrespect the host. Bye. Anyways, I'm sorry, uh, Rishonda. Um, so it was that situation. Now, are you okay with me bringing people up to ask you questions? The host of this show is not playing. I look like I give a fuck. She does not. Do not mess with her. Sebastian, thank you for being a member for 14 months. Sebastian says, there are a thousand of y'all in here. Like the video. Don't be low budget like LaShonda. Thank you, Sebastian. Hit that like button. I don't Where are we at? Let me see where we at. Let me see where we are at. We're at 500 likes. Definitely hit that like button. It lets YouTube know that I'm live. I haven't been going live as much, and y'all know why. Uh... The host is sassy, right? Questions while you're on here live. Oh, sure. I don't care. Okay. Hold on. Let me bring up. I'm going to start from the bottom. Uh, Renji, and I'm bringing y'all up one at a time. If you start disrespecting or I'm dropping you. Okay. Uh, Renji, you. All right. Naya. Uh, Naya, why I feel like I blocked you the other day? I'm, I'm going to hold <laughs> off on that. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. All right. Lachey TM. Come, oh, shit. I love, I love the fact that people will say Ray seems to be the one that messy. Would you all rather me go to jail or get a divorce? Huh? Would y'all rather for me to not expose her and let her do it to somebody else? I'm confused. 
that's so that's why I'm gonna, yeah hold on sojourner i'm gonna go with shay and then i'm gonna go sojourner please don't over speak each other or talk while she's trying to ask ray a question that go for everybody uh lachey gone ahead Oh, gang, I sent you uh requesting me. Did I request? Because I, I no, don't you know. What, well, I think I did that by mistake. I'm trying to accept the other ha, time. My bad. I love y'all. Gang, all right. this. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. So, Jonah, go ahead. <laughs> so, did you oh, ever find out what she was doing with all the money she was stealing? No. I, first of all, I haven't talked to LaShondra since September 8th when she jumped bad in my face. Like, she wanted to put her hands on me. I don't play shit like that. So, I haven't talked to her. I haven't said anything. Now that changed because initially she said that she was in her face kind of doing that. Why you mad? You know, you love me. Now she says she jumped bad and she had. Don't to... buck because if that I knock, then we're going to have a problem. To her, I, I found all this out from September 10th until now. September right. 8th was the last time that I talked to her, <laughs> that I saw her. Has she, tried, has she tried to reach out to you? I, like, I know you're not talking to her. I wouldn't either if I were you, but has she tried to even reach out? I don't know. She has been blocked on everything that I have since September 8th. Okay. Uh, I don't know okay. Is, but somebody asking, has Devin tried to reach out? No. Her okay. son? Okay. Did you have any more questions? Okay. No, that's, that's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, boo. All right. Uh, next person. Let's go. Uh, Shania Spark. Hello. Yeah, you up. Yes. Um, I know we probably don't know what she was doing with the money, but do you it just it's just weird that she was pocketing all that money and there's nothing to show for it. Do you think that like maybe she has you thinking she was making more like to be up on your status and maybe that's why she was taking money from other people? Well, I thought about that and I would say this. Um, I don't easily love people or care to be around people. So for me, I am a giver. I feel like in a marriage, if you don't have something, even if she didn't have her half of the rent, even right. even if she didn't have whatever she needed, if she would have said, Ray, I don't have it, I probably would have covered it. I would have been pissed, but I would have covered it. I right. don't live a life that you have to keep up with. When I step out and go places, I am wearing stuff from my boutique. I have maybe two pieces of name brand stuff that I really like. Other than that, it don't have to be all that, right? So I thought about that because mm -hmm. a lot of people are like, no. I don't know what she's talking about because she what people love about her is she's fly. It may not be like a ton of money that she's spending on it, but Rashonda gets the people going. I'm sure her boutique is moving, especially because she does it for all shapes and all sizes. She makes it look good. If you don't know her, you haven't followed her. I think about a year ago, she finally got like a gastric bypass. So she's lost all this weight. She's given us a fitness journey. She's still doing everything for all shapes and sizes. So a lot of people look up to her. So even if she's balling on a budget, she looks great. Like, oh, she was trying to keep up with you, but right. there's nothing to keep up with. All I do is go out here and do my job and come home. I didn't. I don't ask her to, to try to keep up with me. I think the position that she was in paid her well, but I don't know. Of I course it paid her well. He's a but, artist. So, but I'm pretty of sure it's it enough. Well. But mm -hmm. if it wasn't, she could have just said so. Right. <laughs> well, that was my only question. <laughs> See, this right, is what but... happens when you're the breadwinner and you are trying to make the other person feel big. You know, we see it a lot of times when women are the one with the money. We know that her girlfriend or her wife was the stud, more of the, the masculine energy. And LaShonda, uh, Rashonda was the one with all the money. So what she was probably doing was, okay, baby, I'm going to give you the money. You pay the bills. It's like, when the rich woman and her husband go out to eat and the rich woman passes her husband the Amex card so that when the waiter comes, the husband's putting the Amex card in the uh, little binder. But really, it's the wife's money. I really think that's what was going on. Like, OK, baby, I'm going to send you all the money. You take care of the bills. You know, it made her feel valued or, or whatever. But now you see that was definitely the wrong move. Especially if you were already homeless. If you've been through this before, it would it would seem like you would have more understanding that I'm going to do everything that I need to do to make sure I'm never in this situation again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Next person. Let's go. Um, for the trip, Rashonda. Rashonda. Go Somebody asked who paying for the trips to Canada and Dubai and Fiji. Rashonda is paying for them. Kelly, go ahead. Oh, she got the sleeve. My bad. 
Okay, so I have a quick question. I've been following you for a while and I was on your live last night and I just wanted to know, was there anything that kind of was like a red flag regarding her finances prior to all of this that's happened like the last few months? Did you notice anything and kind of just like brushed it off because, you know, that's your wife. So I could be well, tripping. Okay, right. So there was there the only thing when I'm going back through the the Rolodex of six years, right? I don't see anything. I probably should have been like, did the wife work? Yes. She was a property manager and she got, I guess, some salary from the church. So yeah, she definitely worked. The little stuff that we forget about that anybody could forget about that. I'm like, okay. Like if the Wi-Fi is off and then she'll be like, oh, I forgot to pay it and pay it right then. And then it's back on within 10 minutes or the cable or something like that. It wasn't, and it wasn't all the time. So mm -hmm. I can't, I can't say that oh this is when i should have known and which is really messing me up also because you feel like you should have known but i didn't because i'm over here handling this business so and right and if you claim to be a cheap person or a frugal person then that means you need to you're saving money for something or you're doing something with your money so for me i know that when i go in the store if i like something i'm gonna buy it i don't give a damn how much it is mm -hmm. i look at it and she, she's the opposite. But I thought that was a good balance for, I don't know. I just, no, because some relationships are like that, where you have that one person in a relationship that, you know, likes to spend money, likes nice things. And then the other person, that's just not who they are. Because I've been in those dynamics. Oh, no, Kelly, where, Kelly, Kelly, don't mean to cut you off. I got 94 people oh, in the box. Oh, I, got one more question. I got one more question. Oh, yeah. How do you feel like things will be moving forward with a divorce? Do you feel like she's going to come after your money because of the platform you've built damn. over these years outside of your boutique, just off of social media and you having this huge platform? Do you feel like she's going to want your money? Do you think the jealousy and all of that stuff? Because I honestly feel like you blowing up and you having this name for yourself could have brought on some of these things to where she became jealous and envious of you. So you feel like it's going to play like that out in the divorce? Uh, probably so. I mean, I checked in with her several times. Like, LaShonda, how are you feeling? How does this make you feel? I note, I noticed, like, more recently when we were going out that it's more of a in-the-background sneering kind of feeling like. And I'm like, why? I would never be jealous of my spouse if we're both trying to come up. Like, I don't I don't know. But I, I don't know what her mindset is because she did not plan on me saying anything. Everybody wanted me to take the high road. Don't be messy. Don't be this. Don't be that. But until you're in a situation like this, you don't know what you're going to do. And I'll be damned if I let somebody build a platform off of me and then just get to make me, you know, make me out to be this unloving person. And, and that was not so. And to the person that asked, why haven't I bought a home? Why am I renting? Honey, I am not from Louisville, Kentucky. This is not my stomping ground. I told LaShondra when we first started dating, I don't plan on staying here. So it's okay for me to rent. Everybody rents. I don't feel bad about it. What I feel bad about is the fact that I got evicted. That's what mm -hmm. I feel bad about. I don't feel bad about renting. I could have stayed in that home and paid that two grand by myself. But they were already over the fact that this was the third NSF since we've been in the house. So they said no. They wanted us out. Now, she wasn't lying. The woman was cheap. Babe, how much is it? $26.50. How much? $26.50. Oh, okay. I need $13.25 from you. LaShonda. You went Dutch. We are not going Dutch. <laughs> you have to walk around. You, you know where you and your friends make me sit. $13.25. Oh, I need, I need $15.25. We gotta give a tip. Gotta give a tip. Oh Lord, babe, how much is it? Going Dutch at the Waffle House. Uh, is Jamal coming? <laughs> I love your name. Uh, Mims, your comments in Busy Blues Live last night had me dying. I had no idea who these ladies were until yesterday, but I'm fully invested in the Rashonda Lacondra drama now. This was some mess. I hadn't seen any mess like this since Shirley and Ernesto. Yes, I was in Busy Blues chat acting the fool. I was in uh, Really B's chat acting the fool. You guys might see me act the fool in other places because I do support uh, my other YouTube buddies. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh Keisha Boo says, I can tell she has balls. Why did I stop mid-sentence? <laughs> oh, my God. Why did I stop mid-sentence? I can tell she has balls on a budget by the texture of that wig. Oh, my God.
<laughs> Thank you for your super chat. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, Q says, hey, so the question is, is the Lesbo famous or so? Oh, not Lesbo. Uh, is the Lesbo famous or something? How did the story get big? Outside of her writing on that board, what did she do? She has like millions of people on TikTok. She's, you know, fame is relative, right? But I would consider her famous or known. She also um, does a lot of events. Uh, she supports a lot of LGBTQ things and churches. Uh, she's a star in my eyes. I love her. But I introduced her to my people through the bulletin board. And everybody's like, who is this woman? Okay. We're going to follow this road all the way down. You're going to take a sharp left. Okay. Up here, past this tree here. Okay. Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. Right here in this place. That's for you, Q. That's what she wanted to say to you. But thank you for your super chat. <laughs> thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Bye, y'all. All right. Thank you. All right. Lady Bird. <clears throat> hey, OK, I have a question. Do you think this is going to affect her job? I heard um, your brother um, cash app and her the money every month. And that's government money. So you think they're going to press charge? She's going to be in trouble with that? I don't know. She's going okay. she to go to jail. Right. But I don't I don't know. I don't know who's going to see all of this. Um, but again, it and was, you know, her son seemed like a really cool dude. I mean, do you feel bad? Yeah, he's just a sweetie pie. How do you think he's going to get through this? You think that the grandmother going to really take over and be supportive or, you know, I don't know. I, I love Devon. My children love Devon. It was right. sad. You can tell. You can tell. And your youngest and Devon was so close. Yes. yes. I saw that. Yes. yes. Hold on, Lady Bird. Had. It's okay, a lot yeah. of people. Okay, thank you, baby. Okay, ba thank you, baby. I'm sorry. Thank all you, right, you good. You good. Uh, Lucy. <laughs> yes. Um, I just want to ask. Um, why weren't you a little bit more involved in the um finances? Because a lot of people were saying, "Oh, I would still double back and check to see if the bills are being paid or so you know X Y Z." Okay, so the rental office has a portal, right, where you sign in. She set up the account when we first moved in the house. I was two weeks out of surgery when she came in the room and told me that at the previous house, remember, I don't know if y'all saw my video, I made a video that said, Lord, we gotta move in 30 days because LaShondra came in the room and told me. Um, so I don't know, right. So I don't know if that was the truth or not. So, I mean, in hindsight now, I don't know. But at the time I was like, okay. And she was like, no worries, babe. I'll find us another home within 24 hours. She had found the home that we just got evicted from. Right. Just like Ernesto. And just like Ernesto. Now I'm like, I should have been. But at the time, I didn't have a reason to. I did not have a reason not to trust LaShondra. That's what I'm saying. If I'm sending what? you my twelve hundred dollars, I'm trusting that you're paying the rent because you're the only one that's signed into the portal. I even tried to make another um, portal for that same address. They set it up. It would not go through because it's already one created. You couldn't have two. So when I asked her on August 15th, LaShondra, did you pay the rent? And she said, yes. I was like, okay, cool. We do that. I ask her every month. She said, okay, cool. I did not know that. The rent, the water, and the sewer is her bills. Mine is my half of the rent, the lights, and the gas. That's it. Okay, that's all I had. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Lucy. Um, Miss Sherry, babe. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? So, Ray, um, good morning. Um, there are a couple videos out now from some of the tenants that um, live on the property where LaShondra, LaShondra works. And um, they, there are allegations coming from them that she was messing around with some of the people um, at the complex and stealing money from them. And they reached out to you to try to let you know what was going on and they were dismissed. Is that, are any of those allegations true? Told y'all, told y'all that money wasn't just going to gambling in Home Depot. That's all I'm going to say. The money wasn't just going there. Now the allegations is she was messing with the tenants. No, nobody has ever reached out me out to me from the property. Number one, that's LaShondra's job. We don't own that property. So why would, I'm not sure, but I've never, unless they can show me where they've text or inbox me. And you already know on social media, if we're not friends, that goes to other, other box. But I've never dismissed anyone about contacting because that's not my job. Like I don't know anything about sex, um, low income housing or you know what I'm saying or apartment housing. So who reached out? Somebody no, I'm not sure. Who reached out yeah, to me that, that I that ignored? Was, 
there was a young lady, she made a video I just saw it probably like maybe 15 minutes ago. And she recorded LaShawn, she went into the office to ask about some mattresses that LaShondra had put out of her place. And they were trying to charge her $150 for each mattress that they had to move. And it was some other stuff. And that young lady said that she tried to reach out to you to let you know what was going on. And you dismissed her um, when she came to you with that. She came to me personally or she, like, I'm confused. But again, I don't work there. I don't know anything about that. But I, I honestly, I have no reason to lie. If she can show where she tried to reach out to me, because tried, that means I would have seen it, not responded, or like, I'm confused about that. I, I'm confused. Yeah, she didn't specify how she tried to reach out to you. She just said that she tried to. And my last question no, they, is, they weren't on um, section regarding eight, the sorry. loan that you- No, they weren't living on section eight or living with government assistance. She was a, pro a property manager, which meant that some of her tenants probably were. Uh, Q says, uh, she must've missed all the turns. She giving out advice how dreadful the LGBTQ girls are messy. How you don't know how rent is getting paid. That tongue must have been dangerous. Clocked that T. Not the tongue was dangerous. I'm done. <laughs> Not the thank you so much for your super chat, Q. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. You co sign on for Alessandra. Um, did the loan company ever try to contact you because she had defaulted on the loan or no? No, I don't have any contact. Uh, I'm on, on the if you call my phone and you're not in my phone, it goes to spam. So monthly, I would get a phone call, but I was assuming as a reminder, I've never answered the phone where they said, oh, you know, we're looking for LaShondra or the loan is past due. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, they never, I've never gotten it, but I'm glad that she told me. Had she told me sooner though, had she told me sooner, I can't afford this payment, then I would have probably helped. I would have been pissed, but I would have helped. But you told me after, you told me after you've been, you haven't paid since May. Okay. Well, thank you for answering my questions. And thanks, um, host, thank you for letting me up. You ladies have a great day. You too, boo. Now y'all saying there's somebody named Vera in the comments. Vera is here. So if you two ladies can ask your questions real quick, and I'm going to look for Vera in the comments. Not Vera. You know what a name like Vera, she can make good collard greens. Whoever's next. Uh, okay, Her little speed. is always done in the middle. <laughs> Okay. Ms. Vera can make some um, okay, uh, I just wanted to ask, um, do you really think that um, she should go to jail for this? Oh. Even though like you- Hold on, hold on one so second, Lashonda, before you answer that. Lil Speed, are you an African-American woman? Cause I'm looking at a black woman, but I'm hearing a Caucasian woman. Uh, Lil Speed, are you black? Or are you using somebody else's profile? I am. You Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I am. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this woman is, are you black? Are you do you really wish that she should go to jail over this? I, I mean, I know that like a lot of emotions no, I really do. Because what I feel like is in the in the time period of being 46 years old, not I really I feel like a black everything woman, that she's but done I from hear 20 a white woman. No. <laughs> what is happening? Oh. <laughs> 21 until now she has never had to atone for it she has never had to be held accountable for what she's done but she don't it doesn't matter though it doesn't matter but yes in my heart i do but yeah okay and one more question um i know that you said like you know you don't really believe her do you still have like a place in your heart for her no okay that's it thank you Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No what problem. She wanted to uh, get she... out of Rashonda. Rashonda then already said the woman can burn in hell. <laughs> what does she want her to say? Oh, yeah, I want to reconcile with this woman that then embarrassed the hell out of me, ruined my life, talked bad about my child, tried to separate me from my family, and now I'm broke and homeless again. Yeah, I want to reconcile. Nothing about this woman's energy says she wants to reconcile. Which Sherry B, I know you had a question. Uh, you can go yes. in and I really want to hear from Vera because Vera's the tenant that they keep saying was there or tried to reach out. Okay, can you hear me? 
Yeah, I hear you both. Okay, so my question is first about the table. Did you not ever think Rashonda's mom for the table? I mean, that's one question. Another question, you were asking her about the text message. Why you just didn't get the text message from your daughter? Somebody said, can we hear it again? Let me find it. But, yeah. Okay, and one more question. Um, you okay, go ahead, go ahead. So if you two ladies can ask your questions real quick. Um, you okay. Oh. Hi. Okay, um, okay, uh, I just wanted to ask, um, do you really think that um, she should go to jail for this? Oh. Even though like you- Hold on, hold on one second, Rashonda, before you answer that. Lil Speed, are you an African-American woman? Because I'm looking at a black woman, but I'm hearing a Caucasian woman. Uh, Lil Speed, are you black? Or are you using somebody else's profile? I am. You Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I am. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> do you really wish that she should go to jail over this? I, I mean, do. I know that like a lot of emotions- for the table. I'm sorry. I mean, that's one question. Another question, you were asking her about the text message. Why you just didn't get the text message from your daughter? I, I did. That's what I said. Oh, you did get it from your daughter. Okay, I'm sorry. I missed that. And as far as the <laughs> co-signing, so you're saying that you never received any notification because when you co-sign for someone, you're going to get an email, a uh, mail, a uh, piece of mail or something like that because you initially... Um, is saying that I'm going to be responsible if this person doesn't pay. I did not get an email. I have not got. I have not gotten an email from the loan officer. I have not gotten a text message. This is what I got. And and right now you can. If you call me now and your number is not saved, it automatically goes to voicemail. The voicemail that I, I mean, the missed calls that I've gotten, they've never left a voicemail to say, hey, I'm calling in regards to this loan or, you know what I'm saying? That's not the phone calls that I get. Oh, okay. And uh, and another thing, so uh, I guess you don't get notifications on your credit report that, because once something go past uh, late 30 days, you'll get some type of notification. I have not signed up. Well, I have like the the uh, credit karma on there. But the, the, the thing is, though, the only okay, so this woman is not playing with these questions. Technically, yes, if you have credit karma or you have Chase or Capital One or whatever your thing is, they will tell you your score is going down. So maybe her score was already down, and that's why she didn't see or care every time this woman messed up her credit. Because if you are late three months on a bill, it will I don't care if you had an 800, you will automatic, excuse me, you will automatically drop a lot. And that does not come off your credit report, I believe, for like a couple of years. So she's going to have an uphill battle. Luckily, she already owns her shop and everything. Only time I, well, I try to check my credit uh, quarterly, but I did not know if if she's been paying. She said, I've been paying on it since May. So the full bill is four fifty a month. And she told me she was sending $100 here, $100 there since May. I was not aware of that. I was not aware okay. of that. That's all I have. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right. For those that sit Vera up here, Vera dropped. And I'm not sure why. Y'all claim she had a question. She didn't stay long. And I request her. Uh, go ahead, Lively. Good morning. I just wanted to ask a few questions. Um, How long have you two actually been married? Four years. And did you have any relationship with her before the situation? What do you mean? I mean, like, you know how some people meet people and they, you know, friends before they start dating. Like, did you just meet and start dating? We, we've been together six years, married for four. Mm -hmm. So she reached out to me in 2017 via my inbox to ask me on a date. Oh. We were already Facebook friends, but don't know how. I've never, I had never seen her in my spaces before, but a lot of people follow me. Mm -hmm. I was already big on social media prior to now. So I, I couldn't have told you how we met, but she was my Facebook friend and she inboxed me to, to go on a first date. But my Facebook friend and she inboxed me. To, to go on a first date but prior to that no i had not spoken to her um okay uh do you feel like you may have been singled out since you already had that type of platform yes i honestly do okay because that's what i'm that's what i was getting um that was really just my question just to see how much of a background that you had on her before dating her okay thank you all right thank you boo uh ladies i don't have a problem with y'all questioning real quick let's get to vera because vera was the let's one that said vera. uh something is going on with the lease and that's what the people been asking me to bring her up vera gone i'm gonna take you off mute vera gone ahead and uh speak what what were you saying they got the people in shambles 
Okay, so basically I had said that I was a former tenant in Guardian Court. My address was 6108 Apartment 8 and then 6105 Apartment 5. I had proof in my iPhone 6 of multiple treating occasions with multiple different people about infidelity. I seen Miss Rashonda for the very first time pull up in a truck, seen her and Miss Lashandra hug. After that, I've been trying to find her social media. Never knew she was famous on TikTok. Finally got myself a TikTok founder. I uh, inboxed her. I'm like, hey, here's my number. I'm pretty sure she didn't get it because we were not automatically friends. But I definitely did reach out multiple times. I said, hey, here's my number. Hey, Miss LaShonda's cheating on you. Can you please like inbox me back just to see if it's really, you know what I'm saying? So we can speak on it, whatever this, that, and the third. But without even the cheating, Miss LaShonda has done some very questionable things to the apartment complex. That's why I'm on Miss LaShonda's side to the day I died on her because I done dealt with Miss LaShonda firsthand. Oh, that lady, she, 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 you know, the manipulative type. She, she's something different. And there's been on, on, on a thousand occasions. Okay, so um, let me just drop a name quick, uh, or an address rather because I don't really know the lady's name. 6105 Apartment 8 in that building. That's what she was messing with. Well, hold had, on. Are uh, you saying Apartment A like Apple or the number 8? Eight. 8, eight okay. like, great. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and that's what she was messing with. My house was in the same building. Terrence woman. lives across the street. He's oh. done seen it. We had Desiree and Kiana. Everybody that lives out there, everybody knows. It's like a high school all over again. I'm pretty sure Miss Rashonda can even testify that it's like a high school. It's a whole bunch of nothing but young kids and and, and, and some crackheads that walk around all day. Somebody and, is going um, to go find. That's why I said I believe her, and I'm pretty sure y'all need to come up off her case about this credit report because don't nobody sit there sit on their phone all damn day looking at a credit report. Miss Rashonda and did this lady wrong, and I know she's right because she's been dead wrong for years. I'm still trying to get my paperwork together to sue this lady. I've done had video proof. I done had picture proof when her and her maintenance man walked into my house and I was butt ass naked. Excuse my language on this live i'm sorry i was butt naked okay pregnant and they stood in my doorway and stood there lachandra too stood there i'm like can you leave well i'm scrambling around trying to get a towel she did not leave so I no, the what, was here for? To what did they come for because she had to go do a she had to go look at air filters or something never left the notice look at air filters she never left the notice on nobody's door nothing they would just open people's doors all the time and that's what me and her used to get into it because guardian court was not my first apartment or my first rodeo so I already knew. Well, Miss Rashonda will be back. So you continue your story. Yeah. She'll be back. Um, Guardian Court was not my first rodeo as far as apartments. So she get a lot of young, excuse my language, dumb, naive females that have babies, ain't got nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? So they got that only option. So she uses that against people. She uses that against people and it's been that way. Like she done, I've done seen this lady hand, firsthand. Like she do all these old tenant chronicles, Guardian Court, whatever, whatever. No, she be out there throwing hands with these ladies just like a, a, a B word on the corner. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Okay, so the first, no, for real. It is really like that. And then get up here Not preaching and lying to everybody every day. That's why me and her used to get into it. We don't went round. And she couldn't kick me out legally because I used to call the police and make police reports. And you know, you get the little ticket with the little number on it in case you want to take it to court. I'm still Wait, trying to get, now, let me get this straight. You and LaShondra then came to blows. Yeah. Listen, my name is LaShondra. Her name is also LaShondra. I used to live there. I can Don't mess with the LaShondra. Because they will get with don't you. Don't buck, because if that I nut, then we're going to have a problem. And we got a fighting, scamming pastor. Uh, I'm going to post my ID and my old address up here with, you know, with all the information. So everybody knows it's not a lie. Show my old lease. Okay. Me and Miss LaShondra done went head for head. We done went toe for toe. We don't call cops on each other because she always doing something or she always in somebody's business or she always messing with somebody's kids. Like how she do that little boy Butterbean. Oh, hey, Butterbean, I'll get you this and the third. Da, 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 da. But she'll do that around the complex, pick favorites in these kids and then watch these kids fight because most of these kids don't got a pot to piss in or damn their shoes to walk outside in. But she's so okay. gracious and giving, you know what I'm saying? And plays, plays different roles against people. So it's a whole bunch of different things. That's why I said as soon as her uh, wife done dropped up on here, I said, yep, it's my time to talk. It's my time to run it because I'm, I don't care run about it. the world with LaShondra. LaShondra, we don't, we don't win hands up. We can't do nothing but go social media. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And then you be up here begging. You're a funny motherfucker. Boy, you say these, I'm sorry. I'm not Patty. I'm a, listen, I'm real. Oh, you funny. This nigga say, look, we done already went heads up. Ain't nothing left for us to do but go social media. Not right? When real. you come back in, let me know and I'm going to go ahead and bring you up. Or one of my moms bring back up. Yeah. She sit there. She use these people. If you, man, listen, I'm telling you, I can bring up stories. You can, I can go occasion for occasion. I done seen this lady in the back of somebody's car in the middle of the night swerving out. What you doing? Tooting powder or sucking dick? One of the two. You got a son for oh. some reason. I'm sorry. I'm real explicit. I'm very explicit because you're doing something in that car. We ain't stupid. We grown. You know what grown folks do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't Ooh. stupid. What are you doing? Then you got cameras in this parking lot. I'm pretty sure you ain't never showed Rashonda a video of that parking lot. I can guarantee it because she's definitely going to see something. Now, in these last few months, maybe this last year, she done tried to straighten up social media wise and outlook wise because she knows she got that following with her wife. And that's where she's basically trying to sweep everything under the rug because she thinks motherfuckers ain't going to say nothing. Because mind you, I was on probation for five years. 
Okay, uh -huh. for robbery. I ain't no bullshit ass bitch. You see what I'm saying? I, I was on house arrest. She would come into my house, threaten me, do all types of stuff. I'm gonna get, we're gonna send you back to jail. You're gonna get your kids taken away. I'm gonna call CPS. Da, 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 da. You say something to me if you want to. Woo, 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 woo. This, that, and the third. So do it. Every time I got a police report, every time she did, and guess what? I was still up in that apartment, laid back, kicking up in my nice, good furniture, okay? That I didn't have to get to rent a center. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm just paid in cash, paid in full, two cars. So it's, it's just a lot. Y'all need to really know. And then, that light skin maintenance man is a pervert. This light skin maintenance <laughs> man, he, honey, oh my God. I wish I could just go and call all these people up on this live because there's been so many sexual assault problems with him. Okay, ma'am. I put a report for sexual assault because this man reached up under my robe. You're I'm nine months pregnant with my son outside. You see what I'm saying? But Chandra did nothing. Why? Because that's her people. Supposedly that's her blood cousin. He ain't going nowhere. She pay him under the table. That's what she told me. I can't wait till I get this Ooh. iPhone 6 fixed. I can't wait because I'm dropping iPhone 6. I'm not playing. It sound like you got a book to write. Oh, I got what, a book to write, and I got you, girl. And it makes me so mad because I ain't never really tried to. Rash she then ran Rashonda off. It got too real. It got too real. Now you got an iPhone six, but you talking about Renner Center furniture? Is, is you too? You not good? Renner Center furniture is beneath you, but you got the iPhone six. Now Renner Center got some nice stuff, ma'am. So don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. <laughs> Try to speak on her, you know. I'm like, damn, she got this good ass wife. You know, maybe, maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I was so fucked up. Maybe that's why we got into it. No, it's you. You the problem. And then she played these narcissistic ass roles, just like y'all seen on my video before it got taken down. You can see on the other one how she talked to you and your baby. That's how she talked to me. What the fuck you mean, me and my baby? I said, what is that supposed to mean? Because I said I'm stepping outside, and I stepped outside, and I stood right on the car on her hood, sat on that hood of that Ford until she came outside. Like, what do you mean? Let me say this real quick. People keep saying y'all go ahead with y'all questions. Their questions. I'm not okay. Now I don't know how old Vera is, but I want to nominate Vera for the next season of Baddies. Go ahead, somebody tell Zeus we got a new candidate for you. We're gonna we're gonna knock Krishan and her sister out the way. Vera is where it's at. Vera is where it's at. Questions are for Ray, yeah. so they're not here to ask Vera questions. They're yeah, they're not here to ask, ask me. Questions. Yeah, they're waiting on Ray to come back. I'm just popping my stuff. No, she probably is sick. That's why she probably hung up because she's gonna call her son. I done dropped one address. Don't make me drop three, four of them because you had your baby daddy staying in Guardian too. What do you mean? You had your baby father living oh, in Guardian oh, now? and your wife, bro. What Devon is? daddy? Yes, Devon's daddy. The only reason why I knew is because Devon's daddy was fucking around with this dude named Terrence and he's on the DL. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that was my Lord. This is this is tea. Like, this is not nothing to bro. If I get this iPhone 6. This is too much tea. <laughs> I'm done. This was <laughs> not Devon Daddy on the D. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Uh Q says, yes, Mims. This is my kind of live. Drop the link. I got questions. This is some hood-ish. Now, y'all, I'm I'm supposed to be cooking tonight. I'm doing uh crawfish a to fate. What y'all won't do is have me up here all night. I'm just saying. Y'all, I'm talking about y'all gonna be sick in the stomach. I gotta get me something to drink. Y'all stressing me out. Get her some Hennessy. Or better yet, she sounds like she smokes a cool filter king, a black and mild, and she probably does E and J. And I'm not talking about the VSOP, just the regular. She'll be fine with some E and J and a uh, uh, lemon berry slush from At this uh, point Sonic. Get get Vera whatever she needs to keep talking. Thank you for your super chat, Q. <laughs> Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much to oblige. Uh, and Renee Nunez, thank you again for your uh super chat. Renee is uh definitely uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much to oblige. Carson and with the onset of Vera, we not getting monetized, and, and I know it. I'm, uh, I know it. Tonight, it, it's not a monetized kind of night. <laughs> Point in time, if Ray has dropped out of the conversation and she's just recording, uh, let us know, Ray, and we can still have people come up and state, you know, state what they. Yeah, they can ask her for your questions. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Miss Rashonda, because I promise you, I'm gonna drop for you. I want Miss Rashonda to call this phone again because I don't got three phone calls from Garden Court this morning. I will drop the screenshot on that too. What? And oh, no, is she trying to is she trying to message you? No, she knows she reported your truth. Yeah, she reported my video this morning. I have I think it's like 16, 17 missed calls from Guardian Court's number. You can look on the website and I can send the number. Child, I don't even know what to say. 
Thank you so much, Sky Santana. Uh, I reached out today. Sky allowed me to use the video. Uh, definitely, uh, Sky has commentary on this. Go show some support. Um, I didn't know Sky knew who I was. I didn't know who Sky was, but we both followed each other as of today. Thank you again for allowing me to use the video. That was very nice of you. Um, and for if you are a new content creator, definitely ask before you um, before you use somebody's video. But uh, Sky had it all nice and laid out. So thank you again. Y'all, if I drop this link, we can only do like 30 minutes. Like literally, I'm supposed to be cooking. And I will show y'all, if y'all don't believe I can cook, y'all know I'm from Louisiana. I can do gumbos. I can steam some crabs. I can... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm demonetized. Will they take my super chats? No, they'll just probably won't run ads on this because this video was a lot. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this link. Uh, <laughs> we we are not staying up here all night. <laughs> Yo, y'all. For you all who did not know who Rashonda was, now you know who Rashonda is. And I'm telling y'all, I definitely, I will be meeting her very, very soon. So we will see if we can get her to go ahead and come on up. Uh, and, you know, maybe she's a straight shooter. Man, put some hot dogs. No, I'm, I already bought everything. I got all my stuff for my crawfish etouffee. Did I say shrimp creole at first? It's crawfish etouffee. Uh, this was the Miss Miss Vera show. Y'all let Vera know I would like to talk to her. Uh, if anybody knows Vera, anybody follows her on TikTok, uh, she definitely is a stray shooter. Uh, let me see if I can find Vera. What was her name? Let me look. Uh, what was her name on TikTok? Vera Monet. Y'all, her name is Vera Monet, Monet on TikTok. Uh, okay. Hold up, Q, for a minute. Fully Fat, thank you so much for your super sticker. I appreciate you supporting. Thank you so much for your investment, honey. It is very much the blight. Uh, Tennessee, 13 months. Thank you so much. Uh, why did Ray pay the rent on August 15 with late fees if she has the money? I think she was actually paying it on the 21st. From what I gathered, maybe their rent was due closer to the 15th, but I don't know because she said, you know, whenever she's talking about she's got, I'll pay my rent on the 15th, but she was actually paying it on the 21st. What's up, Q? Hey, friend, listen, I got questions. <laughs> okay. Now, which one of the lesbian daggers is the, is a scam? Because it sounds like both of them scammers. Uh, as far as we know, Ray Shonda, I'll show you the picture. Um, this is the alleged scammer, La Shonda. Let me, it's right here. Ray Shonda is the one who had like the big glow up. Let me see if I got a picture of her. She's the one who said, you know, you got her effed up. Mm, that's a big there we go. Mm. No, actually, she's down like a hundred pounds. She uh she had the uh, she had the sleeve. Well, uh, so she definitely had a fitness. Oh, she know about the sleeve, but she don't know about rent getting paid. <laughs> you know about how to use the talk but she don't know how rent get paid. Hold on, Darcel. Some there's an echo. Um, drop down, Darcel, and come back up because I hear a really bad echo. So she know about rent. She on she, she know about glow ups and writing on chalkboards and some people which way which direction not to play her in. But she don't know about her rent getting paid by the man dagger. And then the dagger was written. And then the man dagger was written was borrowed money from the friends and from the brother. Is that is this is this straight? And she ain't know about none of this. Okay. She didn't know, friend. She did oh. not know. We're gonna give her the benefit of the doubt because I like Rashonda. I don't care. No, we're not giving her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> What's up, Gabor? <laughs> Gabor, Darcel, y'all are on mute. Oh, can you hear me? Because it's my first time being on your platform, man. So I love you dearly. Oh, Hi, thank you. Me. Welcome. You know, I'm one of your well-minded trans supporters, you know, because there's a lot of us out here that's crazy as hell, but you know. Uh, well, I, I support you. Where, where, where are you at with this story? Do you know LaShonda? 
Now I follow. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know scammers <laughs> like that, child. Especially of the church. Now I know some family members who are the cost who are like that, but who she taught them? I feel like it's messed up. But then I have a lot more questions than answers because I'm trying to understand personally. If you're a parent and you didn't, how you not know how they really felt about your child? She knew. She just wanted a man or a woman. That's a man. That must be nice. I'm sorry. I couldn't as a I couldn't as a parent. I'm sorry. The moment that you don't like my child, I can't be with you because at the end of the day, they're my creation. They're always going to be here for me regardless. And then I knew something was up because I followed Ray. I didn't start following the well, the now soon to be ex-wife until like two weeks ago. And it was just like something was off. Because when the scamming pastor was up there talking about she was at her mama's house and she was off to go to the store. And I was up to like, OK, I thought y'all was in a house. This is looking like a townhome type of situation. Mm. And then it just didn't seem right. And I was like, OK. And then Ray really didn't post. And I didn't know none of this stuff until this morning when I go on Twitter. And then I see everybody up there like. Twitter was in shambles. Like she really got on there at four o'clock airing the clip, and I don't blame her. Like that's you really need to know who you're gonna be with. And I'm saying I'm this from personal experience because my mm. last relationship, he did me so dirty. I'm taking that mm. to court as we speak because he owes me. And then it comes to find out. I found out. I did my own investigation after we broke up. I should have did it in the beginning, but I was so blinded. He is known in the area. Blinded by what? Blinded by what? Blinded by good looks and a Louisiana accent. Oh well, don't um, put this on Louisiana. Now hold on. Was it a new? Orleans was it when you? New, he's from New Orleans. What part? What part of Louisiana? New Orleans. Yes. Was this before okay. Katrina or after Katrina? This was it has before. To be after. Mm. Is, is his name Lil Wayne? No, his name is. Oh, I don't. Money. I can say his name. I don't care. We're no longer together. His name is Savion. Mm. <laughs> So okay. yes, I learned. So I so I can't really judge her too much because I was stupid, blinded, and in love. But then it's like you learn, you pick yourself up, and you go from there. Mm -hmm. And that's all she can do at this point. But I'm sorry, she would have gotten them hands when we were in the car coming from Atlanta. I would have. Mm, was in Atlanta. Her. That explains everything we need to know. I would have flung her out the car. I would have like, okay, red light, push you out and keep it pushing because you. And I've also understand, I think I got more sympathy for Ray because I was homeless also before. So I kind of understand you never want to put in that predicament. Mm -hmm. And then you Okay, so thank you for sharing that. But having been homeless, do you find yourself more, more prone to try to control everything so that you're not in that predicament again? Yeah, so that that was something that I didn't really quite understand. If you've been in that predicament, guys, if you are just getting here, Rashonda has lived a life. She was having to sell blood just to make ends meet for her children before, sure. you know, YouTube came around and everything. So to now see her in this situation again really does suck. Um. She put herself in this situation. Gabor, what's your thoughts? I knew... I knew LaShonda was a scammer because I saw LaShonda on Twitter in dresses before. And you know, real studs don't get down like that. Mm -hmm. She was trying on dresses. Mm -hmm. And she it was, was not against her. Hmm? She was. She was doing it a little bit too well, too. Yes, yeah, she was. All the way down to the shoes. She was. Strutting she was. hard. So when did you start swinging on a Louisiana man? You telling Rashonda to swing on, on LaShonda. When did you start swinging on a Louisiana man? And how much he got you for? It's not a stack, I will say that. It's not a stack? It's not a stack, I will say that. Oh, well, just chunk it up as a law. Just chunk it up I as a law. I think I chunked it up. I had, this is the funny thing, because a lot of people think when you trans, you can't, you don't really have shooters like that. Mm -hmm. I had somebody who was an ex fuck buddy put the fair guy, because he was mostly jealous because I got with the dude who I was with at the time. So mm -hmm. he was just waiting for me to tell him when he slipped up. So I told him, and that's that. If but I thought she was taking him to court. Oh, I'm still taking him to court. That's no gifts but about it. But I had to put the fair guy to him because he thought I was all jokes and plays. One thing about my mom ain't raised my fool. How much was this for? It ain't. Y'all are all in your business. You do, not, you, do you do not have to. You do not have to. Honey's an open book. No, no. <laughs> I don't mind. It's. 
under a stack, but it's above 500. And but Dustin, let me ask the question. I'm going to get out your business. How does you somebody can... ask you for money? How does somebody ask you for money? How they do it, because he did it more differently because how he, he played on my emotions. And then mm. with me, when I'm with somebody, I don't really open up too much. So if I get too comfortable and I start telling you about my past. You opened because, up that pocketbook, though. <laughs> I opened good up boy. that pocketbook because the sling was good, good at the moment. Mm. But it was what it was. Okay. I was sugar mama for a moment. I will admit, I was, oh, was a candy. Lady, I say for a moment, not candy. I ain't got candy funds, baby. You see me in three years so after that. So was he definitely call. been with a New Orleans dude because you didn't just say a baby. Was it's he street? Was he street trade or just like club trade? Oh my god, child, he was nerd trade, oh. and those he, are the they, worst ones. When you lay in court, they probably tell you that he paid for. He already paid you for it. You you might be at a loss. Uh uh, because Mama keeps receipts, and I also well, too, whenever I give out money, money, I learned a long time, especially if you do anything through Cash App. You always put everything as a loan because when you say it, it's a loan and you have to take a jackass to court, it shows right there. This is a loan. It was not a gift. It was not mm -hmm. something to be given for you to go rah-rah and play with. No. Mm -hmm. Are the court fees more than what you're suing for? So you know the court fees. Oh, at, my God. Right? Really court jump fees in. Are only $35 right I'm now. trying to <laughs> jump in. They keep <laughs> Jump in because they are going to get First of all, first of all, hey, you boy. Hey, you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but don't be up here cutting up now. Don't act like people don't don't act like it's a foreign concept that people ask people for money. You act like that. It is for me. It is for me. So many of these lives. I know what Gabor gives. I've been waiting. I Everybody love Gabor. I've been waiting. With Gabor. <laughs> you know Gabor's Gabor. Gabor's baby. I'm here for Gabor. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying. <laughs> Go ahead. Right, good boy using his Oprah voice. <laughs> <laughs> good boy asked me, was I silenced or silent? Amen. Like fooling with him. Mm. I, you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna jump in and jump off because you know I just got off my live child, but I just feel like, um, I don't want to see. Okay, yeah. so that's what y'all talking about. She used to go down to the boutique and they used to get her to try on the dresses at the boutique. That's, that's not quite the same. Like she didn't go oh, out in public dressed mm -hmm. like that. But that's they used to. That's part of. Thing. That was part of their like. That was part of their little TikTok videos where they would like dress her up. They would take her down. That was because that's the Chandra's. Um, I mean, Rich Chandra's. Uh -huh. That's her boutique. Uh huh. And they used to just make her. You know, not. You know what I'm saying? They used to do it as part of like you, the um, part of their their uh TikTok. That's all. That's a strong face. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She got a. She has a little shape on her. Yeah, she got a little. Well, right where now. was it? Where is it? Let me know so I can see it. <laughs> you know what? The boy. Anyway, I just feel like I think ultimately I she believe. Ultimately, in my opinion, ultimately, I do believe that, you know, LaShondra got some some explaining to do because I don't know where all this money done went to. However, comma, I do feel like I, I feel like some parts of the story have been omitted. But that's just my that's my two cents. What we, parts, I don't, really? What do parts? we feel bad, though? No, I, don't, I, I do just can't understand. I feel so bad. A... I do feel bad. OK. You feel no, bad. but why don't you feel bad, Gabor? It's not that I don't feel bad, but it's 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 not that I don't feel bad. I'm just saying if I had been homeless before, hmm. I want to feel secure in knowing that the bills was paid. I need to see a receipt. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I need to re see a receipt that the that the bills was paid. At the end of the month, we need to have a red stamp on every all of the bills that say paid. You need to be stamped paid. Yeah, like how you feel. Yeah, I've I, been homeless before. And, you know what I'm saying. Bills, so I, but everything was done through a electric system, right? So you you log in. So what you're saying mm -hmm. is she should have had email the login credentials, mm -hmm. and it should have been. I'm giving you the money, mm -hmm. so I need something to show. I get what you're saying. Right. That's the part I agree with you, Gabor, 100. If I've been in that situation where you know my mom took my money, you was paying for a man. What? We got two candies up here. What you was giving you was giving so I'm many your money. Candy. I said if I had been in that <laughs> oh. situation, Darcel not no candy, Darcel an Indian giver. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Darcel, you're an Indian giver. I'm not an Indian giver. I may have yes, character in my bones, but I'm not an Indian giver. I'm more of a Cynthia <laughs> Bailey. I'll be blinded and then I get played and then I'll be quick, like, oh, we're going to court because it's not gonna be on me, baby. This is your default, not mine. You were Cynthia Bailey, so you were kicking women in the baby door? 
If they come at me and they touch me, then I will kick you. I will hit you. My hands are pansexual. Now they have evolved from bisexual. I do not discriminate. Mm. Oh my mm. God. But I thought the rent wasn't paid for three months. How you how the rent not paid for, don't, after the first month they put a notice on your door? No, that's uh -uh. not what I don't think that's what she said. The, the, the eviction process takes a long time. But I'm saying, no, not the eviction process. I'm talking about rent not being paid. Like, don't mm -hmm. they have, you have to know, like, when you walk out and close your door, or when you walk up to your door, it's a yellow paper up there. She ain't see that yellow paper? She has said they no, saw she... it when they were pulling out, both her yeah, and Jada. But it was for at the three months, though, right? Right. I don't remember her. I mean, I must, I might listen. I've seen so many videos. I don't remember her saying three months. Uh, but I could be wrong. I, no, it was I, three I, times. It was the third time. Yeah, that it was three it. times that she had bounced. The first, time, the first time wasn't enough? That's how she's too she busy writing the goddamn shock she she and she's not know. paying attention. She's too busy telling tell everybody what they're doing wrong. You laying up with a damn lesbian dagger who's stealing all your money. I bet you they're from Atlanta. They're from I think that They're I think that if we, we I think that we need to be honest that Rashonda, you know, so can we ask a question because I don't really know a lot about them. Was Rashonda with them? Was they together before she got the sleeve? Because if yes. they was yeah. together before yes. we got the sleeve, I see what's going on. Now we know. Now we know what's going on. Let's be. We already know what's going on. Then. What's going on? We want to know. Tell us. You know, I, you know. Sometimes I will have your brothers and sisters and stuff. They can be con. They can. They can. Oh, you know. Right. Hmm. Well, Rashonda did say that she felt like the woman kind of saw that she was moving up in the world and she did feel targeted. Yeah, she did she, feel like she, she targeted her. Um, I, so I, don't, admit it there. I don't know if she had any insecurities about her weight because she was one of these people who seemed like happy in who she was. And that's what people kind of like, that's what resonated with people. So it was like, I have this clothing boutique. I have this insane story where I got rags to riches and I'm selling stuff. I'm gonna look good in any size clothing and I'm gonna sell every size clothing. So that's kind of her shtick. I don't know if she had any insecurities um, because of her weight, but I definitely know that this woman targeted her. And the woman seems to have about, in my opinion, a, a good third to fourth grade vocabulary. Ooh. So I don't know how she was wooing her. You uh, think she, she, has... wooed her, she wooed her and everybody around her. Yeah. Ain't no way my best friend nigga gonna come or, or whatever gonna come and ask me for some money and I don't run it by my best friend. Come on. That, no. see, that, part, I, I, that part, I'm with you on that one, 100%. I'm with you on that You're 100%. Ain't no way in the world that you tell me that my best friend gave you gave us a thousand dollars for our wedding, and I don't talk to my best friend about it. So the girl on the iPhone six, let's talk about her for a second. Vera, I already reached out to her. If y'all have started following Vera, let her know that she needs to come on to the channel. Who was she? Who was she fighting? <laughs> she was fighting Lashonda, the one that yeah, Lashonda was fighting. But why Lashonda would have been defending herself? Why she run off? Well, of course. I, well, I don't know. She ran off. That lady got she was anybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're lying. She got I think she got off she because, because it was getting too hot and she wasn't ready for all of that. Or possibly this was a lot of information she probably didn't know. It's so she probably off. was like, let me say face and hop off. To be honest, we don't know who Vera is, right? So Vera could right. have been we don't know. Vera in an apartment unit. We know who Vera is. Is she living in that apartment unit? No, but she added she added something extra, like your did. your girlfriend or your wife was cheating on you, right? So we don't know that Rashonda was really ready to hear that. Nisha, jump in. Mm -hmm. nice. What you mean, ready? Okay. It happened. What you mean, ready? Not too nice. Nisha. Nisha, I see you got your nice outfit on, but we can't hear you. Nisha, did you get that outfit from um, LaShonda's store? Yeah. The girl, <laughs> the, the girl we just saw, she could put a belt around her waist. Mm. <laughs> so where, how you feel but about it, this story? I don't, first of all, I don't feel one bit of, I'm uh, sorry for her. This is the key point. You had mm. every red flag dance in your face, slap you in the face, mm. pounce on your face, and you didn't do nothing. First of all, I'm not giving nobody my half of the rent. You give me your half if we split in 50 50, and I'll pay it on my portal. No, she wasn't. That's she it. was paying all of it, Nisha. Rashonda was I'm, paying I'm the whole about bill. Me, as me being the breadwinner, oh, if we going oh, half okay. and I'm the breadwinner with the majority of the money, you give me no, your half Rashonda and I'll pay it. Half. 
This is what, what? I'm, you don't understand what I'm saying. If I'm the one with the, I'm the breadwinner, and you mm. the one that ain't measuring up to me, you give me the money and I'll pay it. You give me your half and I'll put both of our halves in there and I'll be the responsible one because I'm the one with the most money, so I'm the more responsible one. <laughs> First of all, second of all, <laughs> then how the hell did you not know that anybody was behind on the rent? You're going to get an email. No matter who signed up on the portal, it's mm. multiple emails that can be listed. I pay through a portal. It's multiple emails that you can have those receipts go to when you pay through a portal. Second of all, when your daughter expressed her concern, that was it right there. Y'all have a discussion and a conversation, and you get to the bottom of why your daughter feels the way she feels. Second of all, you texting my daughter about getting jail? Anything, anything product-wise in this house, my daughter can use. I don't care whose jail it is. She needs jail to get her hair ready for school in the morning. You don't have the right to text my daughter and, and tell her about using your jail. This this is this the house jail. This is shit. But it's not the house all, jail. It's my jail. It is the house jail when it's my daughter. You don't got you no, even, you can't even no, pay no. the rent. If it's my jail, it's not the house jail. It's my jail. My daughter needs to do her hair before school. It's the house jail. This is but this is my that opinion. Girl is you can say that daughter, listen, you can say what listen, listen, you can you can say whatever your opinion no. is. I'm telling you my thoughts on the but this is my thoughts. If my daughter that, needs some I'm jail, saying, if my I daughter needs some jail to get ready, this is what I can I finish my opinion. I'm not arguing with nobody, and I'm not here to sway nobody's opinion to mine. I'm, I'm not saying me. I just didn't know if you had all the information, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It don't it don't matter if she grown or not. If my daughter she needs some jail to get her hair ready, she could use it. This ain't, it ain't like she went in there and took a wallet or nothing like that. It's jail. It's three dollars. Are we saying? Yeah. But, but it's mine. But, it's my. The question jail. is: when you when you saying it's yours, really be lifeless though. LaShonda when you say really be, when you say it's yours, you meaning I wouldn't want to use as Lashonda or Rayshonda. I'm saying Lashandra said that the daughter came in and took her gel that she uses for her hair. What I'm saying is, I don't so think so she came and took Lashandra's gel. I don't think that Lashandra was wrong. For feeling like the girl who is grown who charges people to do hair she does hair if you don't have jail at the very least ask me don't just come in my she, my, my space and take my shit you grown so Nisha, what she's trying to that, say really be point, i get i get what her point is but at that point okay. you come to me you don't go address my daughter we're still getting adjusted you still the step daddy mama when you come and talk to me you don't go to my daughter because this could cause an argument. And if y'all already don't get along, you don't have a reason to be discuss anything with her. You come to me because y'all already have friction. So your but conversation Nisha, should be with me. But Nisha, she's not saying her. that but Nisha, what she's saying is that it's not Rayshonda's jail that she's using. It's Lashonda's jail. So it's Rayshonda is her mother. It, okay, right? at this point, this is what I'm saying. Rashonda is her mother. Whoever owns the jail, at this point, the daughter does not care for you, and you don't care for the daughter. So you come to me with your issue with my daughter. You don't go to her and text her. You come to me. I'm the her mother. Y'all don't have a good relationship enough to even have this discussion. So you come to me. But why wouldn't the girl? Well, but, but really, be okay, so saying this? Why didn't? She's coming why from did a different it? vantage point. She's coming from the vantage point of this is my child. I have a blended family, but I don't care if my child is 50. It's still my child and my child can have anything in my house. But, but your child, if did. your child could have, but your, if I have to go and tell your child about my jail, your child should have came to you and asked you, can she use my jail then? But why are we using jail? Exactly. But that why? was the example. That was the scenario. Right? Yeah, that's just what happened. They ain't got no Kenya more hair care. I said they, ain't got Kenya, they don't got Kenya more inches. <laughs> if you, you let know? people and if you let people talk long enough, they'll tell on themselves. She's so busy trying to spill all the dirt on uh, mm -hmm. her nigga bitch that there she, she is. is pointing out all the red flags that she didn't yeah. pay attention to. She did. Yes, she did. You are she is, she, is fault, she is at fault um, as well. And how you get a loan and how you not checking on a loan that's in your name. Yeah, how that's you don't that's why but she that's when I pay the rent because it's that's true. That he was the um, one. Okay, so I, I get what you were saying, really, but I'll use a real world example. I remember going over to my sister's house. I think I was in high school, and they had had I don't know, like some I don't know, some good food. Like it was like fried fish and shrimp and stuff like that. 
And I remember going in the refrigerator and taking out some shrimp because my sister had said, oh, we, we had leftovers. And her husband got pissed. And he was like, to me, don't eat my shrimp. And my sister was like, I don't give a fuck uh, what he ate. My brother can come in my house and have whatever he wants. And I just remembered that because it was like, you really complaining about some shrimp? Like you really are upset. You're mad. You coming at me about literally some shrimp. So I get what Nisha's saying. We're all a family. Could she have asked? Yeah. But if you have a problem with my child, come to me. Mm-hmm. You don't right. need the difference though, man. Like, I understand. I understand what both of y'all are saying. If, if y'all don't get along, while well, you're starting trouble. Y'all don't get along, so come to me with your grievances. But I understand what both of y'all are saying, but I do think they really be. It's right, ma'am. You were in high school, but if you was a 35-year-old man, I don't know how old Rayshon the child is, but if you was a 35-year-old man coming over to your sister's house trying to just make you a play willy-nilly, you know what I'm saying? That'll be different. But my little brother is in high school trying in this world. He can come over here and get a bite to eat. I think it's I when it's my little brother, it don't really matter because it's always in my head going to be my little brother. If my right. nieces or nephews come up and come in my house, nobody that I'm dating better say anything to them. You come to me. But it speaks to who LaShonda is because LaShonda be in her tenants' faces. If she ain't them, she's fighting them. So that's okay, her personality. So but I guess, it, just, but I, I guess it just depends on your personality. I guess it depends on who you are and your personality. Because for me, for me, I wouldn't go over my mother's house now and go through her stuff. Now, I ain't saying that I ain't never went over my mama's house with the grocery bag and went in through the pantry and was like, mm, you don't need this. Mm, you don't need I, that. I, I, I do that too. You know I do that too, my mother you know, too. I, but I just feel like for me, that's just that's just me. I, I understood where I mean uh, let's be clear, the, the issue was way bigger than jail. But I yeah. just, I didn't feel like LaShondra was wrong for saying to that little girl, don't come, don't don't come and going through my stuff. That's it's like I can't I say it. nothing. It's yeah, it's always seems like that you can your child can do whatever to me, but I can't even say nothing to your child. So they could just it's, take whatever they need. That's no, mine. that's not the point. But even look at how she said, don't come. Like she came with aggression first because you don't care for her. So y'all shouldn't even be talking. If you was to say, hey, boo, if you needed some jail next time, you need to act. She didn't approach the situation like that. She came with aggression because she already feels a certain way about her child. So that was going to go left anyway. But, but my, that- my whole thing, though, why is why did the girl have to steal all her money for us to uh, for her to figure out that the girl didn't like her daughter? Yeah, and why yeah, we not that is the problem rent getting paid? The rent ain't we don't give a damn about no jail. The rent wasn't getting paid. Sis. Well, no, no, LaShonda the- get, hold on. LaShonda cares about the jail, but she's not paying the rent. Why are we not understanding exactly. that LaShonda is the and problem? This one, and and even if, even was if the she, problem. Which even if she was okay, responsible question, for the rent, which though, Shonda is the problem because it's so Ray many Shonda the problem. Ray Ray Shonda the problem. The scammer preacher is the problem. Okay, so we're looking at the problem. LaShonda's the problem. Okay. This is the Papa thing, too. So even if they all were tenants in the in the property that they were renting or leasing or however they describe it, even though that girl, the, the man girl, set up the portal, all tenants that are in the home have to be on the lease. That's, so not, both true. Of the, that's not true. Both of the, yes, they the most that I know that's legit. Be, if it's legit. They be, Nisha, they can be they don't have they can be an occupant on the lease. They don't have to necessarily like be a leaseholder or anything like that. And they don't have to go on that e- they don't have to be signed up um, to have a e- to have access to the portal. The main leaseholder is should be the only person that has access to the portal to like to pay rent and stuff. I don't. Want I wouldn't. To use I wouldn't trust hair gel because her hair looks dry. But this is the thing with Rayshonda. All of, Rayshonda said that she was homeless, that her mother used her money, and she ended up being homeless with her kids. I just feel and like you if, were if I was in that you position, left yourself out there again. If I was in that position, I would have, for me to be able to sleep good at night, I would have had to, at the very least, see a receipt. You know, just not just trust anybody else. If my mama did this to me, anybody could lead me to homelessness again if my mama did it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm still confused about that. And then you up here saying, you talking big and bad now, talking about you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't don't co-sign for bitches, but you did. And she did bought it on the loan. And then I'm confused about how you didn't understand that the rent wasn't paid. And then if three months later or however many months later, there's an eviction notice on your door. I, we skipped the whole process. So the so you didn't get no notices. 
the they ain't no they ain't nobody say nothing to no, you. No, she was she, kept, she, she did, did it. She did it three. She no, no, she did not get the notice till there was actually the eviction notice. She was giving her a share of the money, like she was supposed to. The woman was paying it late. She knew that sometimes it might be late, but this time around, there wasn't like okay, you haven't paid it in three months. We then notified you. You out the door. They were only notifying or telling Lashonda, who we see pictured here. So mm. Rashonda was kind of just out of the loop. But to go Boar's point, you shouldn't be out of the loop if you've already experienced this. Honey, did, honey, so did. that's the culpability that she kind of has to like take because you know this is now her mistake because she failed for the okie doke. She was and under a bridge definitely- like Lily, and you telling me that. <laughs> I do have a question though, because she did say and that this- her brother had paid through Cash App, and from what it made it sound like he was using government assistant money that he was getting. And scammer so was you don't talk here. to your brother. <laughs> that part, Thank or your you. friend. And she's talking about she don't know about Section Eight, girl. Based on these girl interviews, girl, bad. Yes, she do. Look like y'all yes, know you do. About Section Eight. But how we she, not know that she, she went to jail? Like a Section Eight girl. How we not know that she went to jail? That girl had six years in the marriage six. after six years. How we don't know that Lashandra got a got had a criminal record six years into the relationship? It that, happened. That's, then no, it don't. I Google everybody. Out. I Google everybody. Yeah, I you mean, just some days you just Google people and be like, you know what? Let me see what's going on. And it's it's a site called um, Been Verified, and you can pay like three ninety nine, and you can get the uh they uh driving record and all type of stuff. Oh, oh, really quick, because we we not gonna be here all night. But I told you guys. I need to. I need. Is that you, Nisha? Somebody has what? an echo, or is it? Oh, that was probably me. Um, I'm. I showed you. I told you guys that you can get these things for free through Simone. Um, this was an instance where she actually found out that the one, the man who was stalking this lady, was actually an unaliver who had assaulted some police officers. So this was all on live. Possession. Mm. Yeah, it's like a. It's like possession of. I, I guess it's like. Contraband, controlled substances, something like that. That was actually lightweight compared to um, other things. Um, then we've got uh, attempted felony theft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares? That was 1996. Like, I don't care about that this 20 years ago. Um, or was it super serious? Then we've got, there we go. we got a little bit more. And then we got the finale. And the finale was a biggie. It was a biggie because this one was like appealed. It went through like multiple different courts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it close on the screen real big so you can see. He was robbing, he was committing aggravated robbery when he killed someone <gasps> and he died. Oh. Mm. He's oh my God. in prison for multiple years for oh murder. Now, is, what, uh, go ahead. Okay. I want you to ask all the questions. Uh, no, I'm just listening. Um, I'm just listening. So what year did that take place by chance? It was in 1998. So basically, this woman had started seeing this man, realized that he was a stalker, and then through Simone found out that he was also unaliving people and assaulting police officers and stalking other people. So he murdered someone in 1998. I'm going to go ahead and remove... I'm going to try to remove this. I'm all in the comments saying, run, lady, run. (laughs) But if you want... Uh, Simone, you can definitely reach out to her. She will run these background checks for you if you feel like you are probably with somebody unsafe or you are dating a Lashonda. Not definitely all on the internet. Mm-mm. Huh? Not putting your business all out on the internet. Do that in private. <laughs> well, it's free, and this lady didn't know. Does anybody have anything quick? Because I gotta go make my uh, coffee shake too fast. I'm just confused. Okay, about the I was at too fast, honey. I will say that she was desperate for a relationship because I will tell you. I've had Dang. low credit. I've had low credit before, and I've been broke before when I was like twenty years old. And I made sure I've never been in right. those positions again. I'll be damned if I let somebody else put me on. You're not using my. I won't even co-sign for my kid a car. If you need a co-signer, that means you don't need it. So, and that goes for anybody. I'm just confused on how she. It's so funny to me when these girls get up here and they talk all this shit, but she was in the main one of these raggedy relationships. But she was sitting up there trying to give us advice about how to act with the Beyonce concert. I'm surprised she went to a Beyonce concert. She's don't you don't you notice the trend cue? The the girls that get the advice got the most screwed up relationships. And I'm talking about the girls, girls. I ain't talking about the girls. I'm talking about the girls, girls. Rashonda has a message for Nisha and Q and Gabor. Okay, we're gonna follow this road all the way down. You're gonna take a sharp left. 
okay, up here past this tree here, okay? Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at, right here in this place. No, that's why LaShonda had a fucked up bed. <laughs> I, 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 I just want to know what the money is. That's all. I just, I just want to know what the money is. Like, y'all think, really? think she on drugs? Y'all think she on drugs? I don't know about that, but it's going somewhere. I, I, I it's going somewhere. I want somebody to maybe find her mama. Person. Maybe her mama got it really be. Her mama. Somebody Maybe got her, it. Because she said her mama said that people, she said you know, mm -hmm. her mama, she, she said, said that the mama, mama said. People, people lie. <laughs> but your, your daughter stole <laughs> from me. On that road she wants us to follow. Clearly, that's the wrong road, sis. Because you know, no, I, I do. You that road to I, the house and your ass is homeless on that same road. I think I'll pass. I'm just trying yeah. to figure out how did LaShonda swindle everybody in Ray Shonda's circle. She did. That's the thing for me. No, she she, did she got. She did I think she because had, she was a pastor, yeah. she probably you know kind of worked them over, and people believe pastors it. are the most dirtiest people ever. Say that again. Look at Jamal. Pastors are them. Look at Jamal. Look at Pastor Eddie Eddie Long. Uh, uh, and I pay a I, Tyler pay Perry. Uh, uh, Donnie McClurkin. Mm. She made it a point yeah. to let Shirley us know she didn't really in the place right now. Did y'all pay attention to that? What she made it a point. You gotta listen. I listen hard when people talk. She made it her point to say to us on her live, us whoever listening. My friend said, I mean, yeah, you homeless again now, but your kids grown. You don't really need a place right now. You further explain to us why why you about to not have a place anytime soon either. She gonna be on that road that she wants us to follow. Wait, that but road, keep keep going that she... with that. So you're saying okay, I I might be overstepping Nisha, but are you saying no, that the, the mentality of her friends, um, where you're telling her, well, it's okay, you don't have no children, you don't even need a home, um, would be the same type of person who would loan a scammer some money and never let your friend know? Is that what you were saying? Like, is that mentality? Y'all sitting around a bunch of dummies and you being a dummy too, because that would I wouldn't even be on live. My first mission would be to get me a stable place to live and a place to lay my head and feel comfortable. But you making a point to say, oh, my friend said I don't even need to get a place right now. Yes, the hell you do. You a grown 47-year-old woman. Oh, she 47? Acting like this? Okay, I, I see where you're going, Nisha. But guys, I got to go make my etouffee. This was real. We even got really right. V on here. Um... We are super, super close. If you are watching this live and you have not subscribed, we give you a lot on this channel. We are like less than 2,000 away from 70K. So definitely subscribe, hit the like button, cue the content guy, Gabor, and really be all have um, channels. So definitely um, show your support. Guys, I got to go because I'm late. Bye. But I'm going to show you all my etouffee on Instagram. Make it make sense now. So right, y'all have a nice night. Okay. Nice night. I, I really Nisha do. Darcel, do y'all have channels? Nisha Darcel? Um no. I used okay. to, but then I stopped because the community that I'm You gave it to the Louisiana man. Yeah. Catch it, boo. <laughs> you tried it. Now I'm about to get you like Nene. No, I had a wrestling. <laughs> I'm in the wrestling community, but they don't really fuck with females too much unless you're a, a different phenotype. So I kind of took a break from it so I can just focus on other things. Well, you if you're a wrestler, community. you definitely need to you need to have all your social medias up. Mm -hmm. What's your social media? Go ahead and let the people know. On Twitter, because I'm mostly on there, Darcel Sis. IG is Darcel.sis. I'm on TikTok mostly too. I'm gonna go back doing that faithfully. That's Darcel period sis. All right. Well, thank you guys. Have a good night. Bye, Darcel. Bye, you guys. Okay. Thank you.